Hey friends. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? It's great to see you all. Uh, thanks for being here, despite the late start. <laughs> Grizzly, what's up? Alpha X-Ray, Tal Cohen. Uh, for what it's worth, those are the three certified first, second, third, in reverse order over on the YouTube. <laughs> certified first goes to Tal. Second Alpha X-Ray, third to Grizzly. Great to see you guys. Welcome. Uh, yo, yo, Naga out there. First of all, hello, Naga. Great to see you. Welcome. <laughs> Second of all, thank you so much for gifting us up to the one and only Butt Spot. Our dear Butt Spot out there, uh, who I saw the go-to Vic coming in here saying, hello, good sir. And butt spot immediately says, hello, butt sir. I don't know how I feel about being butt sir. I don't think I want that. I don't think that's what, I don't think that's what we're about here. Nevertheless, uh, butt spot is a valued member of this community. Uh, so, uh, now I gotta thank you for gifting us up to butt spot so the butt spot can properly use our channel emotes. Uh, and also for supporting this community. I know that's what it's really about. I'm, I'm no fool. Thank you, Nag. <laughs> that's very kind of you. Uh, also, I saw that Sargon came on in with that resub. That 10-month resub. Uh, just a little bit earlier. Sargon says, oh, and apparently it's that time of the month. Resub. Sargon, thank you. Thank you for coming back on in for another month. Uh, it is always uh, an honor to have uh, all of those of you who choose to to uh, you know support what we have here in this community. Um, and Sargon, we appreciate you here, so thank you. Um, let's see if I scroll back up to the top of the chat, I see that it looks like pearls is certified first tonight in the Twitch chat. Congratulations, Pearls. Well earned and well deserved, as always. Navy coming in certified second <laughs> with a lot of fire. Navy was lighting the chat on fire before it was cool. And uh, Bruce coming on in certified third, still with that podium finish, Bruce. Uh, despite, <laughs> and you think you were late. Here I am, an hour later. <laughs> so, um, wonderful to have you here, Bruce. Congratulations. Uh, who else we got here? Pearl said, getting my snacks. This should be a great stream. I hope so, and I'm sorry it's starting a little later than I had originally planned there. I know this is always the case, but it was especially late tonight. Uh, we... As you know, and as I feel like I talk about every stream now, we are planning a wedding. And, uh, and, you know, that's, it's a lot of work, but it can also be a lot of stress, um, like financial stress. And so, uh, you know, we, Sarah just had a, uh, recurring annual subscription renew when she didn't expect it, and it was pretty costly, and so she was, upset that now she was gonna have to I don't know well talk to the customer service and see if we could cancel it or whatever but it's just even small things like that you know that put a bit extra financial stress on uh it's just it amps up the stress that much more when you're already you know dealing with the stress of of expensive wedding stuff and that's by choice you know like we have chosen to do a wedding that's a bit on the extravagant side, um, Nick, you know, for various reasons, but, um, but yeah, you know, it's just one of those things where it's, it's a lot of things from a lot of, a lot of angles. So anyway, we were just talking that through and, uh, you know, trying to just deescalate. <laughs> it's okay. We're doing, we're doing okay. It's all going to work out. Um, anyway, so I'm a little later than I planned, but here I am. 
and uh, it is wonderful to see you all. Who else we got in the chat here? Um, we've got Cleo Raven, who is Jenia, Jenia. It's so good to see you. I hope you're still here. That was like half an hour ago. I hope you're still here. Jenia, uh, I appreciate you being here lurking. It is so good to see you here. The preparations are on track. We are, <laughs> you know, having fun sometimes and stressing a lot other times. But um, it is all coming together. It is all coming together. And we are very excited when we're not stressing. <laughs> so, uh, Federico, Federico, Federico Bertacci, thank you for the subscription on YouTube. I don't know if you're watching the stream right now, but uh, if you are, thank you for subscribing. By the way, this is, of course, another YouTube Twitch dual stream, bringing the power of both platforms together in one. So, uh, it was great to, to have both audiences here once again. And uh, I know a lot of people do enjoy catching the VODs on YouTube. So, uh, shout out once again to future VOD viewers. Um, and boy, Actual, I'm afraid you were not first. You were first, I think, after I hit the start stream button. So I'll give you that. But there were some folks who were here before. But you probably like certified fifth, maybe, or sixth. That's not too bad. Ed Boy Actual says, I'm so tired. A keyboard video isn't enough. <laughs> yeah, I hope I hope you all enjoyed the keyboard video on the YouTube channel tonight. Um, it uh, is... Uh, well, long overdue. It's been a while since I did a keyboard video, so I hope that's uh, satisfying to those of you who enjoy them. It's a very cute, very cozy looking keyboard. For those who maybe haven't seen the YouTube video, uh, check it out. Check it out. <laughs> Isn't it cute? It's all purple and pastel, kind of like pastel green. It's got cute little baked goods and kitty cats and yarn and stuff on it. It is, without a doubt, the cutest, coziest keyboard I've ever built. It's also really heavy. This thing is made of aluminum and it's solid. Uh, but if you want to see it come together and hear it and all that, um, tonight's YouTube video has all of that for you. Uh, and I do hope that we can help you get some good rest here at Point Actual. Uh, Sargon says, I see that Arctic, aka Navy, uh, set a fire earlier. Pardon me. Uh, let me just go ahead and put that out real quick. Thank you for countering with the, uh, the Blastoise right off the bat there, Sargon. I appreciate it. Navy says, I was just making campfires for everyone while we wait. Which is important. It's the only way you can restore your maximum health, don't you know? Or staying at an inn. But uh, who has time for that? Goated Vic, welcome on in. Great to see you. Uh, Overthinks, welcome. Naga says, I think I was too early and my message didn't stay. Oh no, Naga, wait. Does that mean that you are truly certified first tonight? Because I didn't see your message. The first message I see in the chat here is pearls at 8.37 Pacific time, but it's totally possible you were here before that Naga, and I just, I have no record of it. The chat doesn't go back far enough. You were so early, you're so early that you're out of the running. <laughs> but I, it's entirely possible that you are in fact certified first tonight. I'm sorry if you've been stripped of your rightful title. Uh, attractive, wonderful to see you attractive thank you for the year and a half one and a half year summer anniversary super super awesome to have you back for another month uh and it's super super kind of you to continue supporting what we have here uh i love i love having you as part of this community i love your enthusiasm and your kindness uh Attractive says, let's go. Perfect timing because I'm currently doing some drawing. 
And uh, you are very accomplished at drawing. What are you drawing, if I may ask? Hope you have all been well, Attractive says. Yeah, I've been pretty good, thank you. Also, Tauroik, Tauroik, with the 38 months, frickin' heckin' frick. Tauroik, I appreciate you. I appreciate you coming on back again and again, continuing to be a part of this. Tauroik says, uh, perfect timing, another perfect timing. Uh, I just crawled into bed with my little nightcap to de-stress from moving yet again. Like moving house? How, how has that been? I can't wait to fall asleep to the new video tonight. I do hope you enjoy today's cute and cozy keyboard. Grizzly over on YouTube said for some reason I couldn't see the chat when you started the stream. Maybe that's normal. Um, like on YouTube, it wasn't showing up. Like, not the overlay chat on my stream, but the actual chat panel for the stream. That I don't know. But I guess it's there now, or else you wouldn't be chatting in it. Also, Natsu Eli, what's up? Welcome, sorry, apparently I'm... <laughs> I'm tired because I'm just yawning here right off the bat. Yawning at everyone. Ah, uh, do, 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 do. Arda, hello again. Great to have you back. Welcome, Arda. Welcome, John. John Wismiller in the house. John, I owe you a name trace. Well, I gave you your points back uh, last time because I, I think you must have fallen asleep. Because by the time I finally got to your name trace, I didn't see you in the chat anymore. So apologize for that but I'll prioritize it if uh, if you request a new one tonight and on that note I should bring out the reward, reward requests here uh, which we've already got one from pearls and from Arda Arda has asked for a posture check oh yes that's always worthwhile let's just take a second to pay attention to what we're doing with our bodies how we're sitting, how we're laying, how we're standing in my case. I always have all this tension up in my shoulders, so I'm just gonna roll those shoulders, lift my chin a little bit, move my chin back a little bit so I'm not... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like I'm always, you know, I don't know, I try to have good posture, but I always end up in some dumb position while I'm sitting in my chair working or whatever. Thank you, Arda, for that. And Pearls wants a whispered science fact. Let's do it right now. Let's do it right now. Let's not let that sit. Uh, I feel like I found some fun science facts a while back, but I... Um, oh, what? I searched amazing science facts and Google. Google brought up a bunch of random ones. Hmm. I don't know if I trust Google's uh, science fact summary here. Let's try this one. Okay. Mm. Uh, from the P Perro Museum of Science and Nature. They probably know what they're talking about. Okay, this is a pretty good one. Even when sitting still, you are actually traveling at 2.7 million miles through per hour through the universe. If you add up the speed of the rotating Earth, and then the Earth revolving around the Sun, and then the Sun moving around the Milky Way galaxy, and the Milky Way moving through the universe as the universe expands and the galaxy moves, you're going really fast, really, really fast. About 2.7 million miles per hour at any given moment. All of us are. Isn't that wild? I always think about that in the context of uh, um, time travel, right? You know, in, in fiction, time travel always works where it's like, ah, uh, you get in your time machine and then poof, you go back in time, but you appear at the same physical spot on the earth, just back in time or whatever. But it's like, 
the Earth is actually like trillions of miles away or whatever, depending on how long you've gone back. So like you just appear in space somewhere in reality. I mean, if there was a time machine, how would you ensure that you appeared on the Earth? I mean, I guess if the time machine actually worked, it would be it would be pretty different than that anyway. It'd be some, I don't even know. Time's weird. Space is weird. Physical reality is actually pretty weird when it gets right down to it. So who knows? But that was your Whispered Science Fact for tonight, Pearls. Just a little reminder that we're all whipping through the cosmos at breakneck speed at any given moment, and we can't even tell. Amazing. Um, who else we got here? Knife Strike, what's up? I have not played The Last of Us games ever. <laughs> I've not played one or two. I watched the TV series. That's about it. Uh, but I know they are critically acclaimed. Blue Man and Battery, howdy, howdy, howdy. How you doing? Yo, what's up, Eyelash? Eyelash, great to see you. Thanks for being here with us. Eyelash says, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have someone who loves... Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was, sorry, that was more of a, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have someone who loves you. Rub it in every week. <laughs> uh, it's just... It's... I don't want to be the insufferable guy that only talks about, like, wedding stuff. It just takes up a surprising amount of my mental space and physical time. Uh, but, yeah. Hollow Clips, hello, welcome, Foxfish, welcome, Gorog, what's up, great to see ya, great to see ya. Grizzly says, the whole chat panel on YouTube was blank, wondered if it came up after someone chatted, maybe, or maybe it didn't refresh until someone else said something, or something weird like that. Yo, Hijack, what's up, Hijack says, wasn't first, but I'm here, and I appreciate it, it's great to have you here, Hijack. Uh, I understand. I've been missing streams lately, too. <laughs> the Thursday streams haven't been happening, but I'm glad that we can be here tonight chilling, and I'm glad you can be with us. Uh, Bruce says, I feel you on the wedding prep stuff. My wife and I have been married for a long time, a courthouse wedding. However, we never had a ceremony and celebration for the family. We are doing that this year in August having a ceremony and reception after all that time that's cool that's cool the whole shebang is hitting us for about 20k yeah that's that's about what we're looking at too uh along those lines i actually haven't completely added everything up yet because i'm afraid to do it <laughs> but it's gonna be in ballpark in that neighborhood um and that's pretty cheap from what I've heard other folks, other folks' weddings. Oh yeah, some people definitely go insane. Like we, when I say we're having an extravagant wedding, it's not like over and above. It's just, we're not doing it like on the cheap. We're not doing like a potluck or something like that. You know, like lots of people have come up with lots of very, uh, you know, honestly clever or novel ways to keep costs down and still have a celebration with friends and family and stuff. But we are, you know, we're doing things fairly by the book, I guess, in terms of you know, renting venues, having live music, you know, having a fancy cake, fancy whatever, you know, that kind of stuff. I don't know. I've only ever done this this one time, so <laughs> It seems like a lot of money, though, but uh, but we're not going, like, outrageous, you know? We're not going crazy. But yeah, it, it adds up for sure, for sure. Not so good. Welcome on in. This is first time chatter. Not so good. It's great to have you here. Please make yourself at home. Um, But yeah, Bruce, I wish you all the best with all that planning, and I hope it, you have a wonderful... Uh, re-wedding what do you call that are you going to be renewing your vows is that a thing you'll be doing Palmer holy smokes what up Palmer it's so good to see you how you doing you guys when I don't do the Thursday streams only these Sunday streams it's weird and it feels like it feels like each week I haven't seen you all in an age and then some of you 
I don't make it out uh, all so often, so when I do see you, it's even that much more exciting. Oh, dear Rob, uh, what's up? Hanging out with the YouTube gang. Uh, Mike23 says, a little late to the stream, was there any beer tasting? I do have a beer for tonight that I will be tasting in a little bit, once I get to the bottom of the chat. Hey, I'm not at the bottom of the chat yet, but I do see, I do see that Draconis ASM artist is here in the house. Someone shouted him out. So make sure you go hit that follow. Drake, I saw you were streaming last night and I wanted to come hang out so bad. I wasn't able to make it. I was busy last night, but uh, I hope you had a great stream. I hope you uh, uh, had some chill times. It's been so long since I've been to one of your streams. It's painful. Uh, but Draconis ASM artist, as you could probably guess from the name, he does ASMR amongst other things. You know, he does music producing streams. Uh, he does just like hanging out, chilling streams. Uh, what were you streaming last night, my friend? If I may ask. Um, but uh, it's great to see you here, and definitely go, go follow, go hit that heart, follow that man. Uh, Pearl says, Naga was first, okay. All right, well then, we have an awkward situation where we're gonna have to share the gold medal between Naga and Pearls, because I can't really revoke it. That doesn't sound very fair, so. Tonight, you each get half, half of a gold medal. How about that? Norgrill, you like tonight's uh, video with the keyboard, eh? Yeah, they're, they're very nice switches. It's a nice sounding keyboard, y'all wanna hear right now? Pretty nice, eh? It's um, it's actually a little clackier than I expected. I thought it was going to be a little quieter than that, but um, but it's still extremely satisfying to type on. I can tell you. I can tell you that. Navy says, I'm almost done with my New Game Plus run of Dragon's Dogma 2. I just could not put it down. Well, then you can tell me all of the things I need to know, because I have not had a chance to play it since I last streamed it here with you guys two weeks ago. So, <laughs> this is going to be uh, me uh, picking up from where we left off and uh, still not knowing anything. Being a, a fool. I'm sure you can help me, though. Uh... I have been thinking about it a lot. I just have not had a chance to play it. Mr. Sky, welcome on in. Hello, hello. Tarot says, it's good. My wife is a travel nurse, so moving is pretty normal for us. I see. So you must have it down to a science then, if you travel or if you move often. Because um, for me, it's like a huge pain in the butt. <laughs> I've only ever moved a handful of times. And I dislike it intensely. I mean, it's nice to have a new place. It's nice to have, like, you know, things start off relatively organized as long as, well, you know, you have your boxes, your pile of boxes that are on, you know, that don't get unboxed right away. But, like, you have the chance to organize things as you move into the new space. But, uh, but it's a lot, you know. Um... Ladron says, thank you for that. I realized I was making an arch with my spine. Ardra, or Arda, pardon me. Uh, thank you for helping Ladron with the, the spinal situation. Uh, Face Beast over on YouTube says, hello, ASMR nerd. I'm on lunch break and we'll totally watch later. Yo, Face Beast, good to see you. Thanks for dropping on in to say hi. Future Me says you are awesome man and nice hair. Legend Dragon. <laughs> I'm trying to, trying to put those things together. Nice hair, Legend Dragon. 
I, I will take the compliment. I'm not quite sure how to interpret it, but thank you, Face Beast. And uh, thanks for joining us, uh, even though you're you're stuck at work. Uh, but future Face Beast, I hope it enjoys the VOD. Uh, Shade, thank you so much, Shade. That's very kind of you. Thanks for joining us on the live here. Joyce Little John says, whoa, an actual ASMR stream. Yeah. Uh, I call these streams ASMR-ish. We hang out, we chat, you know, I read the chat, and then eventually I play a bit of the game. We do a few triggers. I have some things I do, like tapping on my potato, etc. <laughs> uh, but it's it's pretty chill. It's mostly just about hanging out and chilling. Like Steveco says, literally the chillest stream of all time. Er, Zikvo, pardon me. Let me get the name right. It's important. I appreciate it, Zeekvo. We definitely, what do I like to say? We're all about the good friends, the good games, and good vibes around here. That's what we aim for. Yo, she caused a lot of ruckus. It has been a hot minute. How are you doing? Welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us tonight. I hope you're doing well. Um... Jumping back to the Twitch chat, our attractive says, thank you for the kind words, Nick. I love this, this community and I'm super thankful you are around and making all your awesome ASMR content. Thank you, attractive. I'm working on a couple t-shirt designs for competition. Very cool. Well, I wish you the best of luck with the competition. You are an extremely talented artist. I don't know what the competition is for or, you know, but, uh, I'm sure that you have a great shot at it, and I hope you enjoy the process as well. Uh, Bruce says, that posture can get you, especially the older you get. I've always had sedentary jobs, yeah, years of that, and not watching my posture. I had to have a double spinal fusion surgery. I don't even know exactly what that is, but it sounds awful. It sounds awful. Everything is all good now. But gotta keep an eye on that for sure. Well, having this standing desk has been a real boon for me for sure, because it does allow me, you know, when I feel like I'm sitting too much, it does allow me to stand up, keep working, you know, move around. I feel like I must burn more calories this way, standing. Even just like shifting from foot to foot, you know, probably keeps the blood flowing a little bit. Um, but I have also thought about investing in a, a really nice ergonomic office chair, like a Herman Miller of some kind. Not now, <laughs> not like sometime well after the wedding, but uh, it's something I would like to do at some point. Because I, I always hear that those those things are, are really worth it uh, in terms of keeping you healthy and comfortable, so... Uh, Cleo Raven says, all this movement, and I'm still chub. <laughs> what movement have you been up to lately? I think, uh, even, I don't know. I feel like I've been doing the opposite. I have not been moving enough, but I am also putting on the chub. I had to, uh, you know, go get sized for my, uh, stuff for the wedding. Here I am talking about wedding stuff again. And, uh, yeah, that was a little bit, was a little bit dismaying. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah. The nerd in me is coming out. When does it not, eyelash? When does it not? Our tractor says, my favorite space movie is The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. That movie was so good. That was pretty good. I have not watched it for a long time, but it was was enjoyable. Next track says the last of us games are so emotional and brutal. Yeah, even from just watching the show I definitely got that impression. Krim the existential where's my invite boss? Well uh I guess send me your address and uh we'll see. See if we can pop one in the mail. <laughs> Honestly, we are really late getting invites out this year or this year, this wedding. <laughs> We were very late getting invites out in general, and so 
that has been part of the stress. It has been self, self, uh, inflicted because we, uh, we left things too late. But, um, Drake says, who's this beautiful human raising my screen tonight? Where? Where? Where are you looking? Oh, oh. Oh, 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 you. <laughs> uh, Drake, it's so good to see you, my guy. Uh, you probably already told me what you were streaming last night and all that stuff, but I will get to it in the chat soon, I am sure. Uh, bakery guy, yeah, I got a keyboard made for you've been consistently wondering when I was going to do another one and I'm not going to lie, you are part of the reason I was finally like, you know what, I gotta do one of these, I gotta do a keyboard video so hopefully, hopefully you enjoy it, it's a little bit it's a little bit less thorough, I guess than some of my previous you know, keyboard builds and videos and stuff, but I hope it still scratches the itch, I hope it's what you're looking for uh, also, Butts Bot says, Hi, Dr. Butt. Excited to watch the butt board vid. Okay, so what would a butt board be? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure that I want to know what a butt board would be. Oh, my God. Um, thank you, Butts Bot, though. Very cool. Attractive says it can be so stressful. For our wedding, we just ignored the usual mold, spent like 3000 all up, eloped at our favorite hidden beach at sunset with 13 of our closest friends and fam, and it was so chill and nice. We had pizza and cake and danced through the night. It was nice. Yeah, like that sounds rad as well. I mean, I'm sure we'll enjoy our wedding when we get to it, but yes, that is like a totally sane way to do a wedding, and maybe we should have done something like that. Um, and I'm glad it was as amazing as it sounds. Um, yeah, it's tough. It's tough sometimes to decide how to, how to go about it, but that does sound amazing. Mauser, happy Sunday to you too. Welcome. Welcome. Palmer says, yeah, it's been a freaking minute. It's usually a little too late for me on the East Coast on a Sunday, but I recently had knee surgery. Oh, so I've got no work to wake up for. Silver lining means you get to hang out with us here. Uh, I hope your knee is recovering well. I hope that uh, it's not paining you too much. She caused a lot of ruckus, asks, is this game similar to Skyrim? A little bit, a little bit, in that it's like an open world fantasy thing. Uh, yes, uh, but in this one, it's much more focused on, like, having a, a group that you roll with, and, uh, there's a lot less fast travel, at least from what I've played so far, but you've got, like, your main character and then, like, three followers, essentially, but, yeah, it's also a third person, I guess Skyrim can be first or third, but... Ishii says, finally catching one of these. Welcome. Great to have you here, Ishii. Congrats on the wedding. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. That's really kind. Uh, and I hope you enjoy chilling with us. Draconis ASMR says, I was making some music last night, working on a remix of the final hours theme from Majora's Mask. <laughs> That's why you're asking me about Majora's Mask, right? He says, my internet ain't shite on me, though, so we didn't get much farther than when I started on. Oh, no. That would explain, I guess, why you weren't on long enough for me to catch you. Oh, I'm, I'm good. Thanks, Drake. I am actually good. I am I'm doing pretty well. Uh, work is pretty interesting right now. The wedding is stressful but exciting, so I'm doing pretty good. And uh, I hope you are, too. Drake, I, I have an admission to make. You, I asked you what you would say if I told you I hadn't played Majora's Mask. And you said, 
that you wouldn't believe me. But what if I actually haven't played Majora's Mask? <laughs> what if? Because uh, I've never played Majora's Mask. I've, uh, I've, for whatever reason, I just never played it. I never had an N64 either, right? So it wasn't until later on the 3DS that I played uh, Ocarina. So, uh, yeah. Except for I, I had played a little bit, like at my, my buddy Tom's place, but I never played through it uh, until much later. And then, when did Majora's Mask come out for 3DS? I think it did, but I just never played it. Do I own it for 3DS? <laughs> Maybe I have it, and I just never got to it. Anyway, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Drake. Uh, I know, I know. Is this friendship over? Is this it? Vanquisher, what is up? Vanquisher, so good to see you. Vanquisher out early tonight. How you doing? With the 20 month resub. Holy crap, how's it been 20 months, Vanquisher? What the frick? What the frick? What the frick? Um, Vanquisher, thank you for another month of kindly supporting what we have here, being a part of this community, just being rad all around. I feel like we haven't seen a single scamp this stream. I feel like we need to have a scamp appear in honor of Vanquisher. Um, but I hope you're doing great, Vanquisher. Naga says, I will give the full medal to Pearls. That is so very, very magnanimous of you. Uh, Pearls, you hear that? Uh, you get certified first tonight in exclusivity. Unfortunately, I hate to tell you, but the, the scamps are here to take it from you. Uh, the whole scamp army. Thank you all for, uh, <laughs> for humoring my scamp request. That was, uh, thanks to Rango and Crema. Thanks, guys. Also, Rango, hey, welcome. And uh, Mauser out there making sure the scamps are getting too, too uppity. Palmer has gifted a sub to Farlark. Farlark. That's a nice name. Farlark. Welcome on in. I don't know if you're in the chat further down. I just haven't seen you yet. I do believe this is your first time in the sub club, though. So, Palmer, thank you so much for that gift sub to Farlark. Means a lot, as always. Thank you for kindly supporting what we have here, helping to welcome new people into the fold so they might enjoy this stream to its fullest. To its fullest. Um, super high of you, Palmer. And far like I do hope you enjoy all your subscription benefits, including access to the very popular spinning potato emote. Do not sleep on that emote. Do not sleep on it. I am the legend dragon. <laughs> Apparently so. Uh, yo, Sage. I'm a culture Sage Mitch in the house. Welcome, Sage. Good to see you. How are you? Sage. Sage. Sage is just in the stream, in the chat, just screaming everyone's name. Hey, Rango. Yeah, I just hit Rango in the chat. Rango said, DD2 stream. If the pawns chatter too much in a future video, feel free to toss them in the water. I had a few people suggest that to me. And I'm like, that is savage, but, you know, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. If it means eating your pawns off a cliff, then I guess you just gotta do it. Um, everyone's screaming, and Sargon's just like, don't gay. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Jenny, I hope, I hope you've been getting a chance to enjoy yourself a little bit in between working like mad. Working like mad. 
I did get your text about that show you went to. That sounds, that sounds like a yikes is what that sounds like. I just haven't replied to you yet, but that's, that's quite something. I'm sorry. It wasn't quite what you were expecting. Oh, to Rob, AKA burrito backwards, backwards burrito, backwards burrito. I'm giving away your secrets. Oh, to Rob, oh, to Rob with a 10 month resub. Um, oh yeah, you were over on the YouTube already. <laughs> Otrev says, I figured I'd hop on Twitch and use my Prime subby. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for supporting with your Prime sub. Uh, it means a lot to whichever creator you choose to use it for, but I appreciate you choosing to use it here. Because I know you could use that anywhere on the entire platform of Twitch. Um, and it serves as a wonderful reminder if any of you have Amazon Prime or access to an Amazon Prime account where nobody is using the Twitch Prime subscription, then you, dear friend, could gain access to all the fun tier one sub benefits, such as the spinning potato emote, ad free viewing, and much more. It doesn't cost you anything over and above what you're already paying for your Twitch or your Amazon Prime. It's totally, totally included and you will be supporting whatever creator you use it uh, to subscribe to uh, as if you subscribed at a full tier one. So I can say uh, from personal experience that we really appreciate it. So thank you to those who do use their prime here uh, or anywhere for that matter, like Otirab. Um. Leo says, the movement comment was in regards to Earth flying through space at insane speeds. Oh, yeah, this is the problem. And you know when I'm reading the chat like a million miles behind. You know how it is. You know how it is. Uh, over on YouTube, Hijack said, been playing a ton of Cult of the Lamb. Devolver Digital makes such good games. You know, I don't know that I've ever played a Devolver game. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think what games they might have. Because Devolver is like a publisher, right? Ugh. Like Cult of the Lamb was developed by some other studio, right? But I know that like Devolver published games all have a s certain kind of vibe to them. So it seems. Um... She caused a lot of ruckus. I thought all oh, the Zelda series is on the Switch now. I don't know if have Ocarina and Majora's Mask have the N64 games been ported to Switch? I don't know if they have yet. I could be. Yeah, I'm not. I'm honestly not sure. They might be part of the Nintendo Switch Online thing subscription. Nintendo Gamer Dude, speaking of Nintendo games, says, hello, Nick, new to the channel. Nintendo Gamer Dude, welcome to the channel. It's great to have you here. Can we get a warm stream welcome for Nintendo Gamer Dude? You you are in uh, a place with many friends. We have lots of, <laughs> I mean, like, everyone is probably a, a Nintendo fan on some level, but we have some pretty diehard uh, Zelda fans here, Pokemon fans and more hijack says yeah devolver is like a24 with film right now they publish indies and give game creators great reach that's cool i think we need more more publishers kind of like that especially that are willing to take chances on maybe less mainstream titles you know mauser mauser welcome back for month number two Mauser, thank you for using your Prime after the Prime spiel. I had to had to give the Prime spiel, and I appreciate you coming on in with the Prime Mauser. I hope that wasn't too tricky for you to get that working or anything like that, but I hope you enjoy your subscription. And I'm going to tap on this tater now in celebration. This is my celebratory tater taps just for you. Thanks for using your Prime, your Mauser. 
just casually whisper screaming each other's names in the ASMR chat. That's right, Sage. Drake says, yeah, I'm talking about you, my dude. The only person whose camera is streaming to my phone right now. <laughs> I don't I don't want to be presumptuous. I mean you could be you could be watching anybody, I don't know. <laughs> I appreciate it, my friend. Uh oh yeah, but then I just right, friendship is over because I, I have not played Majora's Mask, right? Sorry about that. Uh she water visuals. Hello. And welcome on in. Thank you for that prime sub. Six months. Congratulations on your half year subversary. And you want me to tap this data for you? Oh, you know it. Oh, you know it. Just try and stop me. Gosh, it has been so long since I saw the mask. Does anyone else remember the mask? Any children of the 90s remember? the mask it's funny you know there's like a certain period of time in your childhood I want to say where like movies have a way bigger impact than maybe they should <laughs> like there's like a certain run of 90s Jim Carrey movies that occupy way more brain space like live rent free in my head uh, maybe much more so than for like normal people much more so than they should. Ace Ventura 2 is right up there. I think it was just a matter of just the age I was at the time. And the, uh, the like, s social aspect of, like, kids on the playground talking about them. Sargon says, it's okay, Nick. I haven't played Majora's Mask either. There are dozens of us. Dozens. Uh, Naga said, my five ingredient Mississippi pot roast is nearly done. Ooh, that sounds good. My entire house smells so zesty. Zesty. Okay, so I have to ask Naga, what are the five ingredients in your pot roast? Is it easy? Is it a straightforward um, recipe? Stalin's problematic pigeon. Now, welcome on in. Great to see you. Great to see you. Four squared. Congratulations on four squared months in the sub club. Stalin's problematic pigeon. Congratulations. And thank you for another month. Thank you for choosing to come on back here and support for another month to help continue to grow this community. Uh, it means a lot. It really does mean a lot these days, guys. Like, I understand, you know, everyone has a different financial situation, but it ain't easy out there, right? The world's expensive. Food's expensive. Housing's expensive. Existing is expensive. And so... You know, as time goes on, uh, I understand there's like mounting financial pressures on a lot of people. And I'm not talking about this to stress y'all out. I'm talking about it to say it means, you know, even more to me as time goes on, I guess, if you want to put it, frame it that way, or like it's potentially even more significant that you are still making the conscious choice to, to contribute, you know, financially to this channel and this community. I know it's not an easy decision necessarily, or, you know, how people's entertainment budgets are are uh, increasingly under stress, right? So it means a lot to me that you value what we have here so much that you want to keep supporting that way. So thank you. And to those of you who are unable to do that or unable to continue doing that, know that I completely understand and I just appreciate you being here, you know, one way or another. I really do. Yo, Thoric, I think I completely skipped over you saying hello, by the way, Thoric, hello. <laughs> I just realized for some reason I saw you in the chat earlier and then I never said hi, I'm pretty sure. So Thoric, welcome. <laughs> Sorry, I, I kind of zoned out on that. Goodness me. Uh, 
uh, Wesley RS123, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining us. Welcome on in. Um, Nintendo Game Dude over on YouTube says, thank you for the warm welcome. I actually found the channel from your Pokemon Game Boy gameplay. Love it. Love it. I've been a Pokemon fan since the 90s. Me too. Are you a Gen 1-er? What's your favorite Pokemon generation Nintendo Game Dude? And you love the Zelda series as well. Okay, two questions. If you had to pick one to take to a desert island, if you only had the one series, Pokemon or Zelda? And what's your favorite Pokemon generation? Eero, hello. Hello, hello. Do I have any Funko Pops? I do, I have a ton. They're just in storage right now. But I do, I have, well, I have maybe not a ton, but I have like, quite a few Overwatch ones, quite a few Witcher ones, a few Star Wars ones. I used to have them all lined up back here, but then I got too much other crap, and so I cycled things out, so they're not there anymore. But I, I do have a collection. <laughs> it's just in a closet right now. <laughs> one day I hope to have enough space in a home office to display all that stuff. All that stuff. Uh, Draconis ASM artist says, I demand an Ocarina and Majora's Mask playthrough from you now. This is unacceptable, <laughs> sir. <sighs> He's disappointed in me, you guys. He's disappointed in me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to have disappointed you, Drake. So sorry to have lost your approval. I probably should, though, eh? I probably should stream those games at some point. It would be pretty fun. It would be pretty fun. <laughs> Drake is just beside himself. He just cannot. He literally cannot. Uh, go to Vic says, hey, Nick, I was wondering how often you tend to upgrade your PC's hardware. So, I try to get at least five years out of, like, my core platform like cpu ram motherboard that sort of thing um i will upgrade storage drives somewhat more frequently than that or at least add on new storage drives um and then video card lately i've been upgrading it more than that uh but historically it would be on a similar cadence but my last system i built it in 2014, I want to say, or tw late 2013, I guess, and it lasted me through to, like, 2022, so, no, not quite that long, 2021, I don't know, it lasted me, like, eight years or nine years or something like that, so I got a lot of value out of that system, I think I built it in 2014, um, but, uh, this current system, we'll see, you know, but I, I hope to get, you know, at least a handful more solid years out of it. It really depends to, like, you know, what you're using your system for um, and whether you can make the case for, like, you know, upgrading for, like, professional reasons or whatever, depending on what you're doing. And if it can be a, you know, tax write-off or if, it, if it's all just for personal gaming and enjoyment, then it's sometimes harder to, you know, make that, you know, justify the upgrades. And like we were just talking about, everything is getting more expensive, so. Uh, but yeah, that's my typical cadence, like five plus years uh, for a system. Palmer says, I recently got around to playing Baldur's Gate 3, and for about two weeks I was just binging D&D content because of how amazing that game is. I'm glad you enjoyed it that much, Palmer. I... Once again, another game that I've dabbled in a little bit. I desperately want to play more of. I tell myself one day I will. Um, but uh, that's cool. It's, it's amazing what that game has done to bring people into the D&D fold as well. That's rad. Um, also, kind of sad 
that uh, Larian says they're they're done with that game. There's not going to be any DLC, no expansions, no nothing like that. Um, but uh, I guess it's better that than try and drag it out and wring uh, every dime out of it, right? Um, Ishii says The Mask was such a wild movie. It was. It was so goofy. Somebody stop me. Yup. Some of those catchphrases are just stuck in my head for my life. Hi, Jack. We've got some fantastic account names around here. We really do. Nintendo Game Dude says definitely Gen 1, and I take Pokemon and just play for years on years finding Pokemon and battling. Nice. Nice. I'm, I'm, I think I'm with you. I think I think Pokemon would probably be my Desert Island game series too, at least. Not that I dislike Zelda, like I love, love Zelda, but I think Pokemon was just a little more impactful for me early on. I think Gen 2 might actually be my favorite Pokemon generation, but Gen 1 is probably the most like nostalgic, if that makes sense. Uh, oh, Iro. Okay, Iro says my name is pronounced Iro, like the character from Avatar. Avatar is something I've not seen. I'm talking to the last airbender here. Uh, and my D&D group, uh, Roll for Relaxation the other ASM artists that I stream with D&D sometimes, they will never let me forget that I've not seen that show. They take every opportunity to remind me that I have to watch it. Uh, I wrote that. Uh, my apologies. What is the, my favorite Funko that I own? Uh, that's a good question. I like the Roadhog Funko from... <laughs> Overwatch. That one's fun because it's like oversized. Uh, it's also just very good. Um, I also like, I have a um, Farah, who is like my, well, when I played Overwatch, she was my main. I haven't played for a while, but um, I have like a special edition silver one of her. That's pretty cool. So those would probably be my favorites. It's been a long time since I did an MTG video I wrote, and so I've been informed that there's a new set coming out uh, later this summer. I forget what it's called, but it's basically Redwall. Uh, it was called something Burrow. I forget. <laughs> anyway, uh, but it looks adorable and amazing. And I'm definitely going to be getting some of that set to uh, uh, do a video with because it looks fantastic. So. Um, gosh, I fell really far behind. I was doing okay, and then I, I just lost it. I just lost it. Jenny, how could you forget about the scamps? How could you forget about the scamps? Vanquisher says, I actually requested a personal day for Monday to watch the solar eclipse with my family. Nice. It's nice not to have to be in bed so dang early. Yeah, I bet. And I hope you have a wonderful time watching the eclipse. So that's tomorrow, is it? Yeah, the 8th. That's right. I don't think we're going to get to see any of it up here. I should look that up. Eclipse. Path of Totality. Eclipse2024.org Yeah, so it's like across the eastern states. Eastern Canada. I guess like the Midwest kind of goes right through and across Texas. And then a lot of sort of across Mexico. That's cool. Uh, all of Eastern Canada gets a, a great uh, view of that probably. But yeah, I guess we won't see anything out here on the West Coast. It's too bad. But those who do get to enjoy it, I hope it's spectacular. Spectacular. Uh, Enko, hello. Enko says, hello, having a rougher day today. If anyone in chat deals with any sort of chronic illness or disability, or if you're having a hard day regardless, take this as a message to know that it's 
okay that uh, it will not make it impossible for your life to be a happy one and it does not need to change uh, for your life to be fulfilling. You are loved, you got this, and I will add on to that uh, from my perspective. Um, you know, managing chronic illness, that uh, your illness doesn't have to define you either. You know, it's something that you live with and you manage, but uh, it's just one part of, of many parts that makes you, right? So uh, those are some great words, Enko, and uh, you are completely correct. You got this. You got this. Ollie, you got this. And uh, I'm sorry you're having a rougher day, Enko. But I hope hanging out here for the last little bit is helping to maybe lift your spirits a little bit. At least being amongst people who, who, uh, you know, who care. And uh, we are happy to see you here. Um, I just saw a blood sugar request. Thank you for that, Tick Spring. Uh, I should probably take a look. It's hmm, interesting. It was kind of low uh, for a little bit, but now it's kind of higher. It's uh, sitting at 9.1. Claims to be, oh, okay, 9.2. It claims that it's stable, but it kind of looks like it's going up. I don't really want it to go up past there, so I hope I hope it's not going to go up too much further. Um, but uh, I'll have to keep an eye on it. Thank you for that, Tick Spring. Um... Also, Ladron, I got a pet Eevee for you. I missed that request. Let me do that right now. A Palmer, we would never forget your carrots. Your carrots will always be here. <laughs> the much sought after carrot emote, yes. I'm real thirsty tonight. <laughs> I'm drinking a lot of water here. I don't know. I'm just, I'm a thirsty boy. All right. Come on over here, Yumi. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, <sighs> what a good boy. Evie's here to say, it's gonna be okay. You got this. You are loved. Evie loves you. <laughs> uh, Evie's here to say, you got this. Um... Nintendo Game Dude uh, says, also, hi everybody. Nintendo Game Dude didn't say that, but I, I do. Uh, and thank you for the hello, Mauser. Thank you for the hydrate, Tick Spring. What was the bonk about? What was the bonk for? Beanard says, I'm not ashamed to admit that I used this game to hit my friend with. Sorry, what? I'm not quite sure. Oh. Hold on a second. Yeah, I, I could see how that could work. Was that a. Have you heard of Dragon's Dogma? Dragon's Dogma, what? Dragon's Dog. I'm, you know what? I'm not even going to say that. But if you want to see what Beanard said, you could jump over to the YouTube chat. That, okay, that's actually pretty funny, though. That's actually pretty funny. I didn't say it, okay? That's, the box not deserved. I didn't say it. Let's just say it's a Ligma-type joke. It's like a Ligma kind of situation. <laughs> oh. I guess y'all probably saw it over what Meenard said. It probably appeared over in the chat there anyway. Um, Nintendo Game Dude said it makes sense. I was 10 in 98 when the whole Pokemon craze was heavy, so it's more nostalgia speaking. Yeah, you and I are about the same age, so I get you. I get you. I feel you. Um, wow, I am extremely, extremely far behind. You know what, guys? I hate to do this, but. I'm going to slap on the old slow mode in the Twitch chat. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Just for a little bit, just so I can get caught up. Because I'm falling further behind and that's no good. That's no good. Uh, 
uh, we will get caught up. And when I get caught up, you will be free once again. But I just, uh, I should just throw on the brakes for a moment. Um, Rango says, Pawns in Dragon Spot Dogma serve the Arisen without question. They're technically not even people, so it's okay. So what are they then? If you told them to do anything, they'd be driven to do it. So being quiet in the water is on brand for them. Honestly, the whole, like, worshipping the player character makes me slightly uncomfortable. They're all like, oh, you are so amazing, player character. You are the most incredible person ever to exist. I will do anything that you request of me. Anything whatsoever. And it's just like, just gives me uncomfortable vibes. I understand that they're supposed to actually be dead or something. I'm not quite sure what the deal there is, but it still makes me uncomfortable. I'm sorry, oh dear Rob. Everybody knows your secret now. Sargon's yelling it out loud. I'm so sorry. Heck yeah, like Eyelash says, so true. We can and will all find new purpose and new joy in our lives. 10,000%. 10,000%. Nevi says, if you're playing as a human-type character in Dragon's Dogma 2 and you come across a beast mask, for the love of all that is holy, buy it. Some areas in Batal, the second area, will arrest you for not being a beast -rin. Wow. Hmm. That is good to know. That was a solid tip. I will keep that in mind. Thank you. But once you become a citizen of Batal, you're okay. Good to know. Uh, Cleo Raven says, you know, Jenny, do you want me to use Jenny or Cleo Raven? I can do either, but just let me know what you're more comfortable with. Uh, anyway, Cleo Raven says, uh, that show was not what I expected. The dancers were still great though. And yes, I totally did still have fun. Um, or you totally do still have fun <laughs> waiting for cherry blossoms to arrive so you can go have a picnic. There must, the cherry blossoms must be out over there. They're in full bloom over here. Um, what is the last fun thing that I did? <laughs> um, we've been watching it through Shogun. Uh, that's kind of, that's been fun. Um, we went and got barbecue on Tuesday and watched the dogs down at the waterfront. That was fun. So we do find some time for fun. For sure. Eyelash says I love the mask. Good. Good. I'm glad we have some mask lovers here. AJ Dells also says I love the potato tapping. I'm glad you enjoyed the potato tapping. And Ko says the mask is god tier. <laughs> it really is. I should watch it again. It's, maybe it doesn't hold up. I don't know. I have not watched it for probably since the 90s. But my memories of it are pretty, pretty solid. That movie terrified me, says our attractive. Well, you know, I could see that. There is, I could see that. Some of the things that, uh, that, uh, Jim Carrey's character that the mask does are kind of wild. Uh, solid guess that the roast or the pot is one of the ingredients, eyelash, for Naga's uh, pot roast, which I'm only just getting to now reading the ingredients. <laughs> Okay, Naga says, I've always had it served over rice with a side, but the five ingredients are one large chuck roast, a ranch seasoning packet, an onion soup seasoning packet, an entire stick of salt and butter, and a bottle of Greek pepperoncini peppers in all the juice. You slow cook it on high for six to seven hours, which results in a delightfully tender meat. That does sound very good. That does sound like it would be pretty delicious. Well, I hope you enjoy it. 
You're making my mouth water here. Uh, our attractive says, gotta support my fellow creator. Life is hard for sure. And that's why we need people who believe in us. Attractive, thank you. Thank you. It really means a lot. That's extremely kind. And, uh, yeah, you know, as someone who creates content as sort of a, something that I enjoy doing, something that I love doing, you know, I have the luxury of not being entirely reliant on it. Um, but still, nonetheless, you know, having that feedback and knowing that people do appreciate what you do is incredibly validating. So, uh, and very touching. So thank you. Thorax says, yeah, you did skip me. <laughs> just, just chilling. <laughs> All good, just chilling. I'm glad, Thorax. Sorry about that. Uh, but I didn't skip you this time. Navy says, if I had to pick between Zelda or Pokemon, it would be Zelda, hands down, no questions. Totally fair. We each have our favorites, right? Drake's is for real, though. How much do I have to donate for you to make a playthrough of both Ocarina and Majora's Mask happen? Oh, Drake, you don't have to donate anything. You know how I roll. <laughs> I really shouldn't promise anything. But it would be pretty fun. I'll see what I can do. You just donate your pretty face. That sounds way more serial killer than it was intended to. I don't even know what I meant by that. You know, pretend I didn't say that. It's way too awkward. Uh, Sargon says, my favorite era of Pokemon was probably Gen 3. Yeah, Gen 3 was really good. Yes, the secret bases were so cool. Yeah, Gen 3 was really solid. At the time, I had actually kind of checked out a Pokemon at that point. Um, but I did come back to it later. I played through Emerald and really, really loved that generation. Finster, hello and welcome. Great to have you here. Yeah, sorry to bring the bad news to spring. About Larian. But uh, they said they want to move on to new stuff. They have lots of ideas. And they will not be held back, <laughs> which I respect, for sure. All right, Drake, at least Drake and I can agree and still be friends about the fact that Gen 2 is the best. Cyndaquil is very good, but Totodile is where it's at. I mean, come on, Totodile. I do like Cyndaquil a lot, but Totodile was my first starter for Gen 2. Also, I gotta sneeze. Sorry, <laughs> the uh, pollen has been coming on thick here lately. Uh, Tick Spring says, if they're all hands on deck, making your Baldur's Gate 4 or similar, I better understand. <laughs> I think they said they're moving away from d and I think they said they've got something else going on. Which is not to say that they will never return to it, just that they are moving on to something else for now. Something pretty different, they said. Wait, is there a Jim Carrey mask Funko Pop? Is that a thing? I know that they've made a Funko for literally pretty much everything, so it wouldn't surprise me, I guess, but... I know we're attractive. I know everyone's like, you haven't seen Avatar? I have no good excuse. I just haven't. Apparently, Iroh is the best character, according to Enko. Attractive says, Farah, she's also my main. Justice reigns from a... Blech. Every time. Every time. But when you do get the stealth alt, where you manage to, like, like, ski down a rooftop and just drop in behind someone silently, and then just blow away the team with your alt, oh, it's the thing dreams are made of. 
So good. So good. I heard they reworked her pretty recently, though. And I have not played her since the rework, so I don't know how she plays now. I know, I'm so far behind in the chat. I don't know how this happened. Wait, actually, you guys all got really quiet to help me get caught up, so I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I'm actually not as far behind in the chat as I thought I was. Oh, the bonk was for not watching Avatar The Last Airbender. Yeah. I was going to say I'll put it on my watch list, but I've already got like 50 other things on my watch list. And Kos says, thank Evie for the nice words. Maybe she deserves another pat. All right. I think you're probably right. I think you're right. <laughs> Evie's a very good little Pokemon. Uh, Cleo asks, Nick, you can call me anything you like. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to go with Jenny. That, that seems right to me. Um, yes, I got Chiori. Yes, I pulled for Chiori, even though Chiori is not good with a whole lot of teams. I could not. I could not. <laughs> I had to pull for Chiori. Now I'm saving up for our Latino. Um, yeah, the barbecue was pretty good. Next time you're in town, if you're looking for good barbecue, Jones Barbecue, pretty solid, down on Cook Street. Um, Beanard says, glad you understood what I meant. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down. It took me a second. Beanard also says, I might be in the minority here, but Gen 3 isn't one of my favorites. I unironically agree with the too much water sentiment. <laughs> so much surfing and water Pokemon battles. Yeah, that did become a bit of a meme, but I get I get what they were getting at. I don't remember that being too onerous for me when I played it, but I, I can understand the sentiment as much as that was memed to death. Yeah, like I said, I only came back to Gen 3 sometime later, so I, I did enjoy it when I came back to it, but Gen 2 will always be my favorite, I think. Um, feels unusual to be nerfed by the slow mode. <laughs> That's right. How does it feel, Jenny? How does it feel? Um, Bisha, welcome. It's good to see you. I'm glad that nobody clipped it. Or maybe they did, I don't know. But Sargon quoted it. I can't escape it. Also, I think Drake might not have been here to hear it, so it's probably for the best. Thank you, Eyelash. Uh, Sargon says, don't worry, Nick, I haven't watched Avatar either. There are definitely dozens of us in that game, too. So what I'm learning is that both of us fail it. Uh, consuming some of the most influential media of uh, the last, I don't know, many years. But I'm glad. I'm glad that I'm not the only one that has not seen Avatar. I'm glad I'm not the only one that hasn't played Majora's Mask. Uh, Ink Jam, welcome. It's good to see you. I'm glad you could join us. And you've joined us at the bottom of chat. So... I'm going to turn off slow mode for you. Just for you, Ink Gem. Everyone else, you better not talk. Ink Gem can talk all they want. <laughs> uh, slow mode is off. You are all free. The shackles have been broken loose. Uh, and uh, also, Tick Spring, thank you for, for the scamp that just needed to be here. Also, Wesley RS123, did I ever say thanks for the follow? I think I did. I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, well, that's it then. I'm at the bottom of the chat. You are all able to chat once again. And I am going to go get some beer. I have some beer that I am looking forward to trying out here. It is from a local brewery. What a surprise. 
called uh, thank you for the obligatory scamp murder uh that was bradshaw thank you bradshaw um yeah it's a local brewery that's kind of hit and miss for me i have to admit they are quite like well uh regarded they've won a lot of awards they're very focused on sours and sours aren't always my thing depends on the sour for me uh, but this beer is not a sour and i'm looking forward to trying it out so i will be right back but first i'm gonna hydrate because jenny i requested that i i do which is good because yeah I'm, i don't know i'm like feeling like i need more moisture tonight y'all see my glass it's got bats we have a lot of things in this house that have bats or skulls or other spooky vibes spider webs you know it's pretty much Halloween every day around here, including our drinking glasses. Freaking bats. That's right, eyelash, that's right. Then you might enjoy it here. Like I said, it's Halloween vibes all day, every day. Eyelash said, my tummy hurts from taste testing too many cupcakes today. Oh no. Uh, Sarah and I, uh, this weekend, we went to meet with the um, baker, the head baker at the place where we're getting our wedding cake done. Here I am talking about wedding crap again. I'm sorry, you guys. But as part of that, we get to try cake samples for different kinds of cake that we could have inside our cake. So on Tuesday, I got to go pick up a bunch of cake samples, which is kind of awesome. You know, it's pretty fun. Um... Anyway, uh, I hope you and your tummy feel better soon, Eyelash. I will be right back with the beer to make my tummy feel better. Or good. It's not feeling bad, but it'll be even better with the beer. I'll be right back. You know, I, I tried to just leave very naturally and just not say anything about fire or flames. And yet here we are. The flames are raging. <laughs> the flames are raging. <laughs> like, eyelash is like, heck yeah, samples. Anyways, burns down the chat. Burns it down. 
Oh, Drake is in the chat burning things down too. I, I'm not sure if Drake heard my comment about stealing his face earlier. Hopefully not. Um, Tick Spring says Scamp Army was out of stock. Was going to celebrate you reaching the end of chat with him. Wait, what is my stock for the Scamp Army? Because I feel like we've only had it happen once or twice tonight. But maybe, maybe more. Maybe more. Also, I want to point out once again, Twitch chat literally on fire. YouTube chat, super chill. Beanard over there said, Gen 2 has some of my favorite mons. Heracross, Totodile, Fanpy. I thought Fanpy was Fanfi for the better part of my life, I have to say. Uh, Fanpy, Togepi, and Teddy Ursa. You might be able to tell, like, the cute ones. I mean, is Heracross really that cute? I guess some people might say Heracross is cute. Uh, Jenya, you like the glass? You, I guess you, I don't think we had these glasses the last time you were here, so. The next time you visit, though, you can, you can use one of our spooky glasses. That's right, Edco. You are vibing with Halloween vibes every day, too. I'm glad someone else is living that Halloween life. Sarah is part of, like, groups online of people who, uh, like, I don't know, keep an eye out for, like, when Halloween stuff starts arriving in various stores. She told me the other day that I can't remember the store. Uh, no, I don't remember what it was, but somewhere was getting Halloween stock already. It's April. What the heck? What the heck? I don't mind living the Halloween life, but like when stores are stocking Halloween stuff in April, that just ain't right. It's against the natural order. I don't know, y'all. Pigeons' his hair across is pretty cute. <laughs> okay. All right. I guess I've been vetoed. Hair across is cute. All right. Who are the arsonists here tonight? Eyelash leading the charge. Naga coming on in. Sargon attempting to quell the flames as usual. Uh, Bisha out there also lighting up. Jenny says, I found an insane hack on TikTok. Apparently, you can just call up any bakery that does wedding cakes and request a wedding cake sampler. And you get a box of all the flavors in it. It's a bit pricey, but so worth it. Because <laughs> then you just get an amazing variety of, of wedding cake samples. That, I mean, I guess it depends on the price, but that is does sound tempting <laughs> I mean I guess we're literally doing that but they also gave us a really nice loaf of sourdough like a complimentary loaf after our meeting the guy's just like all right well here uh, have some sourdough bread and I was like yes it is incredible I had some today it's chewy on the inside flavorful crusty on the outside it's very good uh Drake also in there burning the chat down yeah, yeah. Um, every time I hear that sound, I like to see if it's the Saint Nick that one of you guys have, have requested or if it's literally something disconnecting from my PC. Through the fire and the flames we carry on. That's right. Through the butt and the flubots we carry on. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's what I was talking about. That's what I was talking about. Thank you, Eyelash, for the example the demonstration I don't have enough wabat my friend but thank you but but you're right I should have filled up my glass while I was AFK uh, Enco says my dog is demanding my housemate gets up out of bed when I am already up and already took her outside <laughs> that's one demanding pupper that's cute. Yeah, Bisha, I saw what you did there. Nice try. Nice try. Bot's bot is out for blood right now. Holy cow. <laughs> uh, 
But MR. But Mr. I think we need uh No, never mind. We don't we don't need it. Never mind. You know what? I'm just gonna <laughs> Uh but spot. Thorax says I was today years old when I learned it was fan P and not fan fee. Right? Right? Like for the better part of my life I thought it was fan fee. I feel like I got Berenstain Baird. You got Mandela affected. I know, it doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem right. I'm glad there's others like me out there. <laughs> Anyone else? Anyone else have uh, embarrassing Pokemon name stories where they only just realized recently that they've been mispronouncing it all this time? Enko says, I am on watch all year for Target to get Halloween stock. She gets it. <laughs> like, they take it seriously, the people in those groups. Man, they call it Code Orange when they saw when, they, when one of them discovers Halloween stuff somewhere. It's like, Code Orange, Code Orange. Uh, Jenny says, Sarah should open a Halloween shop at this point and just supply all the local witches 365 with spooky essentials. You know, she would love that. She would, that would be her true calling, honestly. But Bud is uncontrollable today. It's so true. Sargon says, look at it this way, with all the billions and trillions of planets in the universe, each with their own unique rotations and orbits resulting in different length days and years, is surely Halloween somewhere at any given time. I don't, I'm not sure if that logic checks out, but I don't know enough to refute it, so we'll go with yes. Yes, anyone can just request a wedding cake sampler. It's not like they're going to be able to verify whether you're getting married or not. It's not like you have any documents at that point until after the wedding. So if you're asking for a sampler, how could they know? Enko says, I'm not getting married, but I am all about to call for a wedding cake sampler. My boyfriend will be confused and concerned, but I just want the cake. I bet you your boyfriend will actually be pretty jazzed about a bunch of wedding cake. I don't <laughs> Suddenly all these bakeries are just going to be getting all these requests for wedding cake samplers and be like, mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> Jenny, you didn't have a cake for your wedding. Aw. What a waste. Well, it's, I mean, you honestly, I you could just get a wedding cake for any old day or occasion if you really wanted to. You could just say, hey, today is the day I am winning this cake with my mouth. So I'm just going to eat this cake. You could just, anytime you want, you can make, make, uh, make a wedding cake happen. We don't need what? Uh, oh, we don't need, uh, my mind was just going weird places with butt spot and ASMR. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <gasps> Yo, what's up, Sparks? Good to see you over on the YouTubes. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Bishaw says, uh, just remember, I actually worked Oh, you just remembered you actually work tomorrow. You thought it was Saturday, and then you realize it's Sunday because I'm streaming. Oh no, Misha. Get some sleep. I hope you have a great rest. I hope you have an okay day at work tomorrow. I'm sorry that you had a day stolen from you. That's a terrible realization. But nonetheless, I hope you have a great week. And we'll see you next time. Take care, Misha. Good morning, Deckley. And go, you would 1,000% support that. Local witch, you're hitting up the shop for all the spooky essentials. We actually have a pretty sizable um, 
which community here in the city is my understanding. We do have a couple of stores, or at least one that I know of. It's kind of dedicated to, I don't know what the right terminology is. I know that like, there are people who practice Wicca, but I know that not all witches are Wiccans. I know there's like overlap, but I, I don't know what the terminology is. Anyway, there there is a fairly robust community of those folks here, I believe. Imagine having to get married every time you wanted cake. <laughs> you you can also have a cake for a birthday. That's a totally acceptable cake occasion. Imagine having to get divorced every time you wanted ice cream. That would be tragic. There'd be a lot of people getting married for a day and getting divorced the next day just to have cake and ice cream. You could never have them together, though, unless you, like, just cut out the middle part and just did both in one legal ceremony. Um, Argus, howdy. Argus, am I excited for the solar eclipse? You know, I, not, not especially, no. Uh, not that I don't think it's cool. I think it's neat, but uh, I don't think we're going to see any of it from my part of the world. I have some friends that are traveling to Texas specifically to see, uh, you know, the eclipse in totality. Um, for them, it's a very special thing, clearly. Um, I, I don't know. I, I don't say this to like poo poo anyone's excitement for the eclipse, but I'm not quite sure I, I get the excitement. I think it's neat. I think it's like a cool astrophysical phenomenon and I guess it's something about like this being once in every I don't know hundreds of something years for it to be like this complete I'm not quite sure this I guess shows how not terribly excited I am that I don't quite even know why this eclipse is so special maybe y'all can explain and get me more excited for it but I don't think we're gonna see anything of it from here so but Argus, are you excited about the eclipse? And Go says, that's it. Next birthday, I am getting a wedding cake. Do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Uh, Uriel, thank you for the blood sugar check. I will tell you, I actually checked it when I went to go get the beer. And uh, it's kind of high. It's like creeping up on me, and I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> I'm trying to think about what I ate for dinner. Get some potatoes. Anyway. Uh, it's up above my target range now. It's a 10.9. I took a little bit of insulin when I uh, when I went and got my beer. So hopefully that helps bring it down a little bit. Yeah, it's like slightly weirdly high. Um, Jenia says, I had a wedding cake, but not the sampler. Oh, I see. TBH, I don't even remember what the flavor was. It was a huge three-tiered thing with real flowers for a party of like 10 people. I was so bummed I couldn't eat the whole thing. But you got to like take it home, right? Surely that cake didn't go to waste. Yes, ours not to be like one-upping or anything. <laughs> but just to explain, ours will also have multiple tiers. It's going to be four tiers. And it's also going to have flowers and stuff on it. I think it's going to be pretty freaking fancy. Um, but we were convinced by the baker to actually get a smaller cake than we had originally planned um, because the meal plan that we're going with, whatever, the uh, menu, that's what we call it, the menu we're going to go with, uh, also like it includes dessert. Uh, at the venue, so y'all, it's like, it's gonna be double dessert, right? Uh, so instead of getting a, a giant cake as well, it's gonna be a slightly smaller cake, and everyone will still get a piece. They're just gonna be slightly smaller pieces. That's all. Um... Uriel, I'm doing all right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this fine Eclipsemus Eve. 
Lots of people are very excited about it, eh? Um, like I said, I I feel like I should be more excited, maybe. Uh, Thorax is alright, I gotta head to bed too. Didn't quite make it to gameplay this time. Sorry, Thorax. Still nice day. <laughs> we will see you next week. Have a fantastic week, Thorax. Take care. Sleep well. Catch you later. Enko says, I would just say witches or people who practice witchcraft. That that seems like a reasonable way to say it. Jenya says, not gonna lie, I'm totally the kind of person to get married just to dress up and eat cake. <laughs> I bet you you could find people willing to go along with that. Enko says, because it can be both a religious thing, like Wicca or paganism, but it can also just be a spiritual practice. So usually practice witchcraft is a good catch-all. Thank you for the knowledge. That makes total sense. Eyelash says, I'm excited because space is scary and seeing the moon just casually blocking out the sun is so creepy. I gotta see it IRL. Okay. I get, yeah. I get you there. Fair enough. Yes, there is something very visceral, I guess. I've seen a partial eclipse before. But yeah, not a total eclipse. But I, I get what you mean about that, Eyelash. I can see that perspective. Stoner Shed, what's up? It's going well. We're talking about wedding cakes and eclipses. Uh, Enko says, I find it funny that my friends are jokingly saying they blame the moon for my sleepiness and low energy today. <laughs> I don't know. The moon is mysterious. The venue staff eat your cake? What? That's not okay, Jenya. <laughs> they literally just took your cake from you. They're supposed to like box it up and give it back to you, I'm pretty darn sure. You should definitely get to take your whole wedding cake. You should get to take the cake. Uh, what's the celebration for? Uriel, which one? We're talking about a few different things. We're talking about people being excited about the eclipse. And we're also talking about uh, my wedding, which is coming up in May. Because apparently I can't not talk about my wedding. I keep saying I'm not going to talk about it, and then I'm talking about it. Uriel says I'm driving nine hours tomorrow to see the eclipse with my brother. It's a long drive, but that does sound really cool. Mr. Sky, yeah, people definitely practice witchcraft IRL. Yeah, for sure. There's, um, like, as, um, Enko was saying, there are people who do it for religious reasons, um, and there's people who do it sort of more broadly for spiritual reasons. But it's not like a cackling witch with, like, a wart on their nose, you know, kind of witchcraft. It's like, it's oftentimes, uh, you know, paired with nature worship or nature spirituality, um, pagan beliefs, um, and, uh, but yeah, there's a whole rich history. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Ink Gem. I'm sorry you're looking forward to it and that it's not going to work out. Thank you, Uriel. <laughs> Thank you. The lead singer of Godsmack is a Wiccan. Stoddershen, I did not know that. Godsmack is a group I've not thought of for quite a while. Uh, Genius says it was a destination wedding. We had to fly, so I guess that's why. But maybe it's a Japanese thing. Maybe. You absolutely, you absolutely didn't get to plan your wedding. It was done by other people. Oh, weird. You just pick the dress and the cake design and the venue. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, that's pretty different. Culturally different. But, I mean, good in some ways, maybe. But probably not in others. Sargon says, since you can't not talk about your wedding, if you say you won't, I'll try a little reverse psychology. Talk about your wedding. All the nitty-gritty details. All of it. You know, straight up, that makes me very much not want to talk about it. So, on that note... Tonight's beer at one hour and fifty minutes into the stream. 
<laughs> you guys are so patient. You put up with my stupid. You got you. You're wonderful. Thank you all for being being a part of this, and for putting up with um me in general. Uh, tonight's beer actually doesn't have that exciting a can. Also, because of the exposure on this, it looks like it's glowing. Let me just turn it down a notch or two so you can see this a little better. This is the Nordique, a Nordique IPA from Ile Sauvage. Ile Sauvage, which is Francais for Savage Island. Um, that's the island that I live on. It's not actually called Savage Island, it's called Vancouver Island. But Savage Island sounds way cooler. But uh, Ile Sauvage is a brewery here in Victoria, British Columbia, which is confusingly on Vancouver Island. Vancouver, the city, is not on Vancouver Island. You following me? Anyway, Il Sauvage uh, specializes in sour beers. Sour beers. And they've actually won quite a few awards for their sour beers. But sours can be awfully hit or miss for me, so I haven't always vibed with the stuff from Il Sauvage. But I saw that they put out this Nordique, which is an IPA with Simcoe hops and juniper berries. Juniper berries. And that made me think of uh, in Skyrim, you know, in the intro, where, um, uh, not Raloff, but the guy who gets his head chopped off, uh, he's talking about, uh, or wait, is it Raloff? No, who is it that's... It might be Raloff who's talking about it, actually, in the intro. Gosh, I need to replay the intro of Skyrim. It's been too long. But he's talking about... Yeah, no, it totally is Raloff. And he's talking about the mead with the juniper berries, like V-Lod used to make. Anyway, this isn't mead. It's beer, but it's made with the juniper berries. And I wanted to try that out. I don't think I've ever had a juniper beer before. So that sounds like it could be interesting. Um, and I like a good IPA, so uh, I figured I'd try it out. Really, there's almost nothing else uh, in terms of like information on this can. There's no beer lore to speak of tonight. It's made with water, malt, rye malt. So it's made with both barley and rye. Rye is an interesting addition, not a common one. Uh, hops, juniper berries, and yeast from Il Sauvage Brewing Company, like so, and uh, 7%, 7% ABV, so middlingly strong. Um, but yeah, their cans are also like, I don't know, they always have these abstract geometric patterns on them, and they don't really jump out at me on the, on the shelf, so maybe that's another reason why I don't get this guy's or these guys stuff all that much. But I'm looking forward to trying it out here tonight. Just fixing the exposure, there we go. Also, Tarot Destroyer, hello. I missed you uh, coming in over on YouTube there, but Tarot Destroyer says, <laughs> I, is this a reference to something? Seven years ago, my parents were eaten by cannibals and I've never forgotten it. I feel like that must be a reference to something. Uh, Anth, hello. Uh, wild. Um, oh, you're totally right, Anth. You're right. It doesn't necessarily mean savage. Yeah, you're actually right. Sauvage could mean wild, feral, or uncivilized. In fact, I think I usually see it in the context of wild. So maybe a better translation would be wild island. Yeah, you're totally right. That's a very good point. Uncivilized island. Uh, Beanard says, I know this has definitely been stated and I should know this, but when is the wedding? It's in May. It's mid May. You don't need to know that. <laughs> There's no reason you need to know. Be expected to know when my wedding is. And thank you, Beanard. That's really kind of you, too. Thank you for the, the kind words and congratulations. Um. Uh, Uriel? Do we still do... Oh, 
after hours discord we have not done discord after dark for quite a while we did a discord after dark revival i think you were at the last one um maybe I'm trying to think it was a while ago now but yeah we haven't done one since then next time i have a monday off i'll see about doing another discord after dark because then it's easier for me to stay after the stream those are always fun Ink Gem says, I took a shower and thought I missed the beer. Are you kidding? <laughs> nope. We're still here. Oh, man. Okay, URL. Maybe you weren't at the last one, because URL says it's been like five years since I spoke with any of you. Okay, we did one last year sometime. I can't remember when it was, but we did one last year sometime. We'll try and plan another one again the next time I've got a holiday Monday. We'll try and do one. I'll try and let you know. Jenny says, man, you don't get married that often. Talk about the wedding. I want all the deets. Well, we can talk the deets. But definitely we can do that. I just don't want to bore everyone else here with my wedding deet. Uh, Old Grey says, something I miss from Canada is ice cider or ice wine. Yeah, we have um, uh, quite an ice wine industry in the interior of the province here. Uh, it's been a very long time since I had ice wine. I've never had ice cider. But uh, is that not something you could get anywhere else? Okay, Ralph is the juniper berry guy. Thank you, Sargon, for confirming. That's what I thought. Drake, I don't know what the you're wonderful was in response to, but I will take it. Thank you. If it was directed at me, I don't know. I'm taking it, though. Gem says, oh, that brand sounds, brand sounds nice. An IPA for one that usually does sours might be nice and fresh. That's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. Might be something a little different. Your else says, so far we've been communicating via Christmas cards. That's how I communicate with most of y'all. <laughs> I mean, aside from the streams, you know. Jenny says, Nick, hear me out. What if you have the actual chat watch your wedding in the corner? Stick a little webcam somewhere on the seat. You know, I thought about it for like a minute, but then I was like, I don't think that would fly with Sarah. I do not think she would appreciate that. Plus, I would kind of be doxing myself. It's pretty inevitable that, you know, we need to be hearing my name and stuff, so. You know. You know. If there was some way to do it, I would, but carrier pigeons, but I'd have to take care of the carrier pigeons. Hey, Neebzy, what's up? Welcome. Old Gray says weddings get y'all really excited. Yeah, they, they do, apparently. Meanwhile, Buttspot out there butting, as Buttspot does. Okay. I'm gonna open this beer. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Let me just turn down this volume a little bit. So it was a little bit fizzy, a little bit, uh, a little bit overexcited there. Okay, uh, it's still fizzing a little bit. One second. fine just a little little drip uh, all right let me adjust the mics so we can have the best poor sounds possible one moment <laughs> it just keeps wanting to, wanting to spew <laughs> 
it's uh it's very vigorous all right all right let's pour one out gang here we go This one's there's a lot of head going on here. <laughs> I know Drake's in the chat. I can't say things like that. There's a lot of foam happening here. <sighs> you know what? Uh, there's, <laughs> there's a lot of head. Look at it. It's a very foamy pour. Look at, look at, this is, okay, you, you know what I mean, y'all degenerates, out of the gutter. <laughs> this is a very, a very heady pour, <clears throat> gotta compose myself, um, but yeah, that's uh, way too much foam. Also, apparently, uh, unfiltered, because there's a lot of sediment suspended in there. And I should probably let that actually uh, settle out a little bit. <laughs> That's right, we are a wholesome stream with wholesome sleepy friends and wholesome beer. Sorry, Stoner Shin, don't use what word? Spew? <laughs> says you should at least send a picture of yourself in the wedding outfit. I will do that. Yes, you guys will get to see my drip. My wedding drip. You know what I mean. Uh, you'll bleep out the names. Do you want to be the certified bleeper, Jenia? You can be the live, live streamer editor. Yo, Livy, you showed up just in time for everything to fall apart. <laughs> Let me just adjust the mics back one second. All right, so that head has receded, leaving quite a lot of lacing on the sides here as it drops down. And I'll top this up now that now that it's a little less excited. And uh yeah, it's definitely unfiltered. There's a lot of yeasty sediment swirling around in there. Technically I think that's supposed to stay on the bottom, but sometimes when you pour, it does end up in there. I don't know, some beers they tell you just drink it, others they say let it settle out. I don't think this one had any directions one way or another. So, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Uh, Livy, congrats on your five stream streak, by the way. Hello and welcome. Drake said, weddings definitely get me butt butt excited, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, I think we know what you mean, Drake. What you're saying is you end up having to run to the bathroom all the time. That's really unfortunate, actually. <laughs> also, the heck? Did you seriously quote that whole thing, Drake? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Uh... Whoa. Whoa. Good job, Automod. Good job. Um... But, uh, <laughs> thanks, Drake. <laughs> um, does squirt sound better than spew? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm not sure. Uh, wholesome stream. That's right. That's what we do here. It's 
it's like I'm trying to make it sound wrong. Mm. Uh, I don't think it's supposed to be a hazy IPA, Ink Gem. But I guess it is now. I guess it is now. You'll narrate the whole thing like a newscast, didn't you? I kind of want to hear that now. Hey, Bolos, welcome. Great to have you here. <laughs> oh, come on. We are a wholesome stream here. It's hard to get more wholesome than this. It's family friendly entertainment. It looks kind of like a little snowstorm or something, doesn't it? The worst of it is settling out slowly. But... Navy, sorry you didn't get to experience any gameplay tonight. It's been one of those nights, which is, you know, most most streams, I guess. But uh, Navy, thank you. Thank you for being here. Hey, how is, how's your stuff been going? I know you're trying to go to bed, so now I'm going to ask you how the stream's been. How's the YouTube going? Take this opportunity to plug yourself. You want anything in the chat? You want to share anything with the chat? Y'all should go check out Navy one way or another. Uh, here on Twitch, also on YouTube, ASMR content. Uh, but Navy was talking about doing some a let's play. Well, what, we were gonna do a DD2 let's play. Poppy Knight, thank you for the follow and welcome. Tiger Milk, thank you for the good vibes. Tiger Milk says love and respect to everybody. Thanks, Tiger Milk. Bean Art says, don't worry, your wedding's not on my calendar. I just felt bad that you've probably said it and I wasn't listening. No, I just meant it's not like something you have to worry about. That's all. Bean Art also says, I gotta give it up to Dragon's Dogma. I was simply using it as a vehicle to dunk on my friends, but this pause screen is pretty relaxing. <laughs> the game is pretty good too. You'll find out when we play it. Nerd said, I understand that an IPA is a drink now, but I will never not think it's some kind of financial term when someone says it. I could also very much see how you would how you would uh, come up with that, too. Dragon's dog when a mythical creature adopts a pet. Aw, dragon's good boy. Also, what's up, Steel Neko? Oh my goodness. Wow, Bruce, our wedding is going to be kind of the opposite. Uh, our wedding colors are black and purple. Black and purple. Although guests can wear whatever they want. But All right, I'm going to try this out. I'm going to try this out uh, and see what this is about. Juniper IPA. pretty good it's pretty good but i can't say that i'm really tasting the juniper it's not coming through very strong um but i know that like oftentimes gin is made with juniper berries but i'm not a big gin guy either so truth be told i'm not really sure what taste i'm looking for but whatever it is it's not jumping out at me Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's it's an IPA. I wouldn't say it's like really noteworthy, but you know, we'll keep sipping on it here. Maybe it'll let me. You know, honestly, Anth, I, I I know what juniper smells like. I'm not quite sure what juniper berries are supposed to taste like. Congrats on your streak, Bolos. Congrats on your streak. The auto mod, good auto mod. Uh, Stoner Shen says, I really want to learn about beer now, even if I don't enjoy it. Never tried craft beers. Yeah, I generally drink what would be called craft beers, and that they are from smaller breweries that are focused more on making interesting beers than on sort of mass producing beers. 
So that's typically what I'm looking for in drinking. There's a whole wide world out there when it comes to craft brewing, an incredible assortment of flavors. Um, and I do hope you get the chance to dive into it a little bit one day, uh, if you're interested, you know. But the thing I always say about craft brews is like, if you try one and it's not for you, that's totally okay. There's a, tons of other different varieties and flavor profiles uh, that you might enjoy more. So don't feel like you have to, you know, like every beer you try. Um, Navy says, streams are doing fine. Currently bulk recording for YouTube to make sure I have stuff ready to schedule for the move in June. Nice. Nice. Finishing Stormblood for Final Fantasy 14, then Kingdom Hearts 1, then Borderlands 2 are on the current list to do. That's quite productive of you. Well, I hope you're having fun with it. Uh, and Jim says, I wonder what the harshest review Nick has ever given is. I I mean, this isn't bad. Again, it's, like, it's fine. It's just not especially standout to me. I don't know, it, it's a totally serviceable IPA, but there's also nothing super special about it for me. I try to, I try to find positive things in everything I do, everything I try, I try to find the positives, but if there's significant negatives, I will be honest about that as well. Craft uh, mac and cheese beer when Uriel, I bet you somebody's done something like that. I bet you, if you looked up cheese beer, I bet you would find it. Uh, Nath, wonderful to see you. Welcome. How you been? I hope you're doing great. Uh, Uriel says I had a peanut butter jelly flavored IPA once and it was one of the worst things I've ever drank. <laughs> like I said, some people get wild. Like some breweries get really experimental. They don't always hit. They don't always hit. Navy, you are cranking it out. I mean, it's the content. The content. You are producing a lot of content. You all know what I mean. Uh, your else says what's the most upsetting, or what's more upsetting, is all the other weird flavors were fantastic. Yeah. Sometimes even breweries that are, you know, good. Stop. Stop it. Now I feel like everything I say is going to be misinterpreted. Literally everything. <laughs> Navy's first bonk. Congratulations. I could say something about that too, but I won't. But I won't. Um, okay, let's play this game. Holy crap, you guys. <laughs> Let's play some Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> uh, thank you for the scam murder as well. Alright, Dragon's Dogma 2. Weirdly, it only says Dragon's Dogma on the main menu, but this is Dragon's Dogma 2. Uh, I streamed this a little bit with y'all a couple weeks ago. I have not played it since. I'm still very early in the game. I still don't really know what I'm doing. After I streamed with y'all the last time, I came back to that campfire here, and I slept, and then I got attacked by bad guys. They tried to kill us, but instead, I killed them. But, they did mess up my tent. I was pretty upset about that. And that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say. I'll wager. So this is my main dude. Uh, I think I just called him Nick. He's just one of the preset character types, or character looks, because I was in a hurry and didn't take the time to customize my dude. This is my gang, including Inigo, who does not look like Inigo, but he is a cat person. And, uh, I had intended to make him look more like actual Inigo, but again, I, uh, I was in a hurry to start playing and I didn't realize that I wouldn't be able to like change it again after. Although apparently you can get items to change the uh, look of your pawns later on. 
So I'll try and change them then. Then uh, Rowan here and Marie here are are pawns from someone else's game that I have hired on to join my traveling party. So just like in Skyrim, it turns out I'm traveling around with a bunch of cat people. Uh, it just turned out that way. Um, Cody over on YouTube says, hey Nick, good to see you. Uh, since we're talking about weird beers, I thought I'd chime in that I've had Hatch Green Chili Beer, and it was terrible. <laughs> that, does, that does sound a little strange. I had a chili chocolate stout the other day, actually as part of one of the videos on the channel. That was okay. That worked out all right. But uh, yeah, that sounds pretty wild. Sometimes I think breweries just go for weird stuff, just for like the shock value. Um, Tiger Milk asks, what are your thoughts on the Fable series? And what are you looking forward, or and are you looking forward to the new one coming out? Um, I've not played a whole lot of the Fable games. I only ever played the first one. And that was a very long time ago, but I enjoyed it. I had a fun sense of humor, but I never did play the follow-ups. Um, but I think a reboot could be fun if done well. So yeah, I must say I'm looking forward to uh, the new Fable. All right, good night for real, Navy. Good night. Neemsy, have I tried good ramen or pho? Yes, we have. A couple of good pho places here in town. There's one uh, right downtown that I enjoy a lot. Um, I don't really know how it compares on like an international level, but I think it's pretty tasty. And uh, and I had some pretty delicious ramen uh, when I visited Japan. Um, we went to a little place in Tokyo. I have no idea what it was called. I don't know if I could find it again. It was pretty darn good though. <laughs> and another little place in Kanazawa that I think I liked more, actually. They had a very rich broth, uh, but it was very, very tasty. Um, yeah, the game is being played, Uriel, I know. Well, sort of. I mean, it's here in front of us. That much I can say. So, I, yeah, we are, uh, I don't know, you start over this way, and we are now over this way, because we came through a big scary cave called the Waterfall Cave. The last time we played, we mostly ran around in the Waterfall Cave, and we got our butts kicked by a scary chimera, and maybe even scarier lich. We were, we managed to get out with our lives, but it was a close call. And uh, I think we're, we're going to not go back in there. We're going to go back there later when we're stronger. Because we are not equipped to fight the Lich or the Chimera right now. I reckon there's some pretty exciting treasure somewhere deep in that cave. But not, uh, not for us right now. Uh, then there's this encampment that we did not check out last time. But that... Uh, might have some neat stuff. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's talk to some of these folks. See what they say. Wow, can you go just freaking knock this guy? We might have need of it. Here in Burma, bulls are revered as servants of the Arisen, but not so here in Batal. Okay. There, they believe that some divine flame will protect them and dispel the dragon, and that pawns embody misfortune. This guy's name is Jester. Uh, Jenia says, now you just have to stream for another 1.5 hours so I can be awake till server reset. <laughs> Are you back on that Genshin grind, Jenia? Are you back on that Genshin grind? I think you are. I, uh, did you pull for Chiori? And are you saving for Arlecchino? I uh, already had Nervalette, so I don't have to pull for him. 
uh, now, who else is on the banner right now? Kazaha. I've already got Kazaha too, so. Anything in here? No. And here I was hoping for some great treasure. Huh, now I feel a fool. I don't know, lady. You went, you went and picked uh, some grapes off a grape bush, and you were expecting great treasure. I'm not sure how that works. Who's this guy? I do not tolerate idle chatter during missions. Okay, Olfen, sure. No, we'll go for a while. Jenya, yeah, we'll go for a little bit, at least. Nath says, I'm glad you're good, and I'm okay waking up early to travel down to London with my boyfriend. Nice. What are you doing down there? I don't know how far London is for you. I don't know, you know, if it's if it's a great journey or if this is something you do often, but... Bolos. Was it Heb brand? Uh, which? We're talking beers here? I've lost the context now. <laughs> Stoner shit. Oh no, butt spot. Oh no. Butt spot, you can't. Butt spot, you can't. You can't just say that, butt spot. Oh my god. Okay, well, this little encampment seems pretty boring, actually. Uh, there's not much to see. Um, what's up here, though, if anything? I straight up like forget how to use this. Five small fangs. Okay, alright. Oh. Savagery extract, huh? You're well fond of Some syrup wort leaf. Ooh, see this? This uh, little golden beetle here is actually really awesome because they increase our inventory space. So if we go here and we consume the beetle, it gives us additional carry capacity, which is fantastic. Um, also, let's, uh, let's sort by our heavy stuff and let's give some of these items to some of our other party members here, so that we can, uh, uh, be a little lighter. Um, because your movement speed is, uh, determined by your, how much you're carrying. And I don't like moving slow all the time, so. I was kind of hoping there might be a vendor in this little camp, but there was not. What's all this? It's a big closed gate. Oh, hold on a second. This is going to look... Oh no. It's a checkpoint and we're not allowed to go through. Okay. I thought that this was... Oh, it is. Yeah. This is like across the way from the Border Watch Outpost. But we're not allowed to go through this gate, apparently. Awkward. Okay, well. I guess we're just gonna have to go elsewhere. Uh, Val Chaninart says. Thanks, Marie. I wonder what Inigo is telling about me to other players. What, what uh, is he spilling about me? Can we jump up here? Oh, we can. Because, like, my pawn Inigo might appear in other people's worlds, right? Uh, Sargon says, you're going to laugh, but there's a pho place near my old job called Pho King. Yes, of course. It's a classic. Never been there, but I always get a little tickled when I pass by. Absolutely. I think I've, I've, I'm trying to think if I've seen that or I've just seen pictures of places called Pho King. <laughs> Nibzi says, I'm jealous you got truly authentic ramen. Yeah, I guess it was. It seemed like a pretty traditional place. It was very tasty. Oh, thanks, lady. What did she give me? 
Hello? I'm a knack for gathering items, and I'm ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any new finds. Okay, I don't know. I thought she was going to give me something. Uh, is there anything else up here? It appears not. Alright. Well, I think we should head on down this valley, because I don't know what's off this way. But it looks like a good adventure. And this game is fantastic for good adventures. So let's go. Let's see what we can find. I really enjoy the caves in this game so far. I've only really experienced the one, I guess. But it felt like a fantastic dungeon delve, you know. Bees are alive. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Glad you could join us here. Uh, bakery guy says I'm gonna lurk till I fall asleep. Bakery guy, glad you could be here to chill with us. Have a fantastic sleep, and I do hope you enjoy tonight's keyboard video as well. Sleep well, bakery guy. Uh, Jenny says I have 150 pulls saved up, and I'm using all of them for Ito. <laughs> now grinding for from zero for father. Wait, you don't have Nervalette either? Oh no, got 60 pity and eight wishes. I'm amazed that you chose Ito over Nervalette, though. I mean, Ito is fantastic, too, but AGB is a grocery store. Ah, oh, okay, Bolos. I don't think we have those around here. Cleo says, sorry, Jenny says, I'm not interested in Shiori, but Ito absolutely stole my heart a year ago, so I had to. I don't have Ito, and I kind of feel bad about that. I feel like I'm doing my bro dirty. Because Ito is fantastic. But I didn't end up pulling for him because. Because Chiori was just too pretty, okay? <laughs> if you must know the reason. Ito's pretty amazing, but Chiori is so pretty. How could I not? How could I not? But. Next Ito rerun. Hopefully. I mean, whoa! just happened. Is everything alright? Sounds like something exploded. I don't see anything though. Weird. 19 Peb, thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Oh father, you mean uh, Arlecchino, of course. Of course. For some reason, I was thinking Nervalette, but Nervalette is more daddy than father. <laughs> I guess he's both. <laughs> but of course, you know, you know. Oh, that's what's going on over there. What the frick? That doesn't look healthy. Is it safe over there? Why is the hillside exploding? Useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. In-game earthquake. I don't know if that's something that just happens. I have no idea. Uh, Nate says London is three hours by car, so icky. I would normally get the train. My boyfriend has a routine operation and we are just going to chill in London for a few days while he recovers. I wish the best for your boyfriend. I hope the recovery is quick and easy. But that's nice that you get to spend some time in London. That sounds sounds fun. What is going on around here? Oh, goblins. That's what's going on around here. Oh, we got more goblins down here. <laughs> I just 
straight up just kick that goblin to death. Wait, where is the rest of my gang? Wow, Inigo just getting it done. Well done, buddy. But, uh, what the heck was Marie doing back there? Not fighting with us at all. Um, wait, you've hundred percented every region, Cleo? I mean, Genia? <laughs> every single area? That's unbelievable. Holy cow. That's actually impressive. Some of those areas are a real grind. Stoner Shen said Genshin seemed like a uh, a run game. I think you were trying to say something else, maybe, but but I never got into it. I hear it's pretty grindy, and I already have like three really grindy games to play that I enjoy. I would say, like generally speaking, it is not very grindy at all. It's only grindy if you're trying to like perfectly optimize your artifacts, which is like your your equipment, basically. Or if you're, um, hmm, nothing down here. Or, yeah, I don't know, like sometimes collecting like character, uh, like level up type materials can be a little bit, uh, a little bit grindy, but it's not too bad, really. It's honestly, it's a, it's a phenomenal game. Like, I wish more people would give it a chance. I think people kind of judge it pretty harshly. Um, A, over on the YouTube side of things, look who we got. It's ASMR Gaming News, y'all. ASMR Gaming News, my friend, it is wonderful to see you. Falling asleep, I decided to check out the stream. I appreciate you dropping on in. Y'all guys know ASMR Gaming News. Fantastic ASMR content for many, many years now. Uh, lots of awesome Fortnite content. In fact, we did a Fortnite collaboration video. I don't know. A while ago now, some years back, my first time experiencing Fortnite. Uh, that was pretty fun. But uh, ASMR Gaming News, I hope that you are doing well, my friend. It is really good to see you. And if you are falling asleep, don't feel like you have to reply. I don't want to. Don't want to uh, disturb your slumber. But it's just good to see you. I just shot that goblin off a cliff. I didn't realize there's a. I can do no less in service to the Um. Tiger Milk says, "What's the?" Oh, sorry. I should pay attention here. Not get smacked by goblins. God, I'm so bad at like doing anything useful here. Yeah. 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 Oof, in you go, you alright there, bud? Oh wait, there's more goblins hiding. Okay, I think we're good. I think they're all dead. I am in your it's been a while since we've seen a good bunger. It's been a little bit. I feel like combat is still going on over here. Oh, maybe there's a goblin hiding in the bush over here. There totally was. I didn't even realize. Um. I know, this dude totally does random flips when he's climbing for no reason. He just, like, dude needs to chill. Okay, he didn't do it there, but he totally does, and it's hilarious. Thanks, Ron. Uh, Jenny says this game looks like summer. Came to Skyrim, finally. Yeah, it does have a bit of that vibe. What are you doing, Murray? You all right there? Alright. 
honestly have no idea where we're going or what we're doing. We're just going. I hope we find some cool stuff along the way. This is a big landslide we saw, huh? Tarot Destroyer, why am I talking like that? As in, like, why am I talking quietly like this? Because this is an ASMR channel. And we are all about... Oops, that did not work. Brutal. We are all about the chill vibes. As I just freaking murder a harpy. Oh, hey. Another one of those beetles. Oh, gosh. Ah, more harpies. Uh-oh, we're gonna fall asleep if we don't stop them from doing that. Why am I so bad at hitting anything? Oh, man, I'm asleep. Awkward. Oh god, we're all asleep. <laughs> the, whole, the whole crew is asleep. Oh my god, this is awful. Jeez. Nice, okay. Stop with the singing. It would really be great if I could hit anything. There. Stop it! There. Okay, I think we're good. Yikes. Those RPs out. Terror Destroyer. I talk like this because this is an ASMR channel and we are all about down tempo, relaxing vibes. The idea is to help people relax, to sleep, to de stress. And a traditional component to that is being pretty quiet. There's also uh, a sensation known as ASMR that some people experience when they hear certain soft sounds like whispering or tapping, for example or see certain visual triggers. It's a very calming, relaxing sensation, sometimes called tingles. It's like a relaxing, tingling feeling in the back of the head and neck, almost like the, your, your hairs are raising up, but not like in a bad way. It's difficult to describe. It's not something that you experience, but uh, traditionally, again, the triggers for that sensation are very quiet. So. Um, also, I'm going to put these white covers back on one second. Oh, I don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? Um, Steel Neko says, so many streams of talking over menu streams. <laughs> That's what we do around here. At least five in a streak now, but many more overall, Steel Neko. They got one optimization patch out in Eepsy, uh, and I think it has helped a little bit. Inigo has absolutely no fear, it's true. They did a DLSS patch. It did work before, I think, Rango, but it was quite fuzzy looking, you know, especially with the uh, um, foliage, right? But um, they did improve that, and I think I saw Digital Foundry saying that performance in uh, like highly populated areas has actually improved a little bit on PC. Anyway. Oh, Murray found something over here. But yeah, you're right. Um, overall, the performance has not been dramatically improved. Um... Oh, you meant to say fun, Stoner Shen. Yeah, no worries. Kenshin is fun. It's totally worth playing. Uh, and Ko says, yeah, smart gaming news sounds like a channel I should follow. Yeah, you definitely all should. Uh, over on YouTube, ASMR gaming news is legendary. Legendary. Uh, speaking of which, yeah, Smart Gaming News said, I remember that collab. It was great. By the way, I recently started playing Skyrim on Switch. I love how portable it is. I picked up Skyrim on Switch. I think that was probably the 
fourth time I've bought Skyrim, probably. <laughs> and, uh, ooh, bro. Um, and, uh, but you're right, it is really satisfying uh, to just be able to play it on the go, you know, like, especially with a game like Skyrim, which in my head is always like a big open world epic. It's, there's just a novelty to it. Um, and uh, I've enjoyed being able to play Skyrim on airplanes when I'm traveling and stuff. It's just fun. Would have preferred not to have to fight so soon. Oh, but at least oh, Inigo, what attack. you doing? Inigo, what you doing? Let's all that vim go to waste. I shan't let them harm you. What is going on here? Oh my gosh, that guy looks big and armored. What is going on? Oh lordy. I don't even know what's happening. Also, night is falling. Oof, oh god, oh god, I'm getting beaten up. I'm so terrible at the combat in this game. If it wasn't for my pawns, I would just die all the time. Um, but yeah, night is falling, and that's concerning me a little bit. So I'm wondering if maybe we should head back to that campfire, make camp for the night, and then carry on. Shannon says apologies if this sounds rude, but I've not heard that name in a hot minute. ASMR gaming news. Oh well, then you should go. You should go uh, check out his recent content. Andrew, what's up? Andrew says, "Yo, brother, how are you? Just curious, what's your average FPS in this game with your beast PC? You know, it really depends on where I'm at, and of course, I'm still pretty early game, and so." Um. I... Oh, what? What the frick? Where did this guy come from? He just jumped out of nowhere. Ow. What is going on? That was unexpected. Um, yeah, I mean, FPS is a little all over the place, but I will say, uh, like certainly at 1080p, like I'm streaming here, uh, it has not been a problem, like, I don't know, I cap it at 60 for streaming, but uh, when I was, like, recording gameplay for, um, like, a wandering video, uh, even at 4K, uh, it was fine, although I did, ha I did have DLSS quality on. I think we're about to fight some skellies. Yeah, so with everything on max and DLSS quality on, it was staying over 60 FPS, but that was basically just out in the wilds. So, oops. Oh my god. Yo. Yo, leave me alone. I haven't been to the main city yet, so I can't speak to that performance there, but I suspect it would be bad. Probably down, you know, in the 30s, just based on what I've seen other people saying. <laughs> the ASMR work, the party is asleep. Yeah, that's right. The harpies are just using ASMR the whole time. Arcos says, I'm loving Dragon's Dogma so far, but I can't get over how amazing it looks on PC compared to console. It's stunning. Um, yeah, I've not played it on the consoles. I've watched a little bit of video, though, on, like, Digital Foundry, and it, it looked pretty good there, too. But I guess, um, you know, everything on the PC can just be cranked to 11 if you have a system that can, you know, manage that. Uh, Tucker... Tucker, thank you for the seven month resub. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Tucker says, uh, I've been getting into Dragon's Dogma too as well. It's so fun. I hope you've been good. I've been doing pretty well. 
super busy as always, but pretty good. Thanks, Tucker. Uh, and this game, I have really been enjoying it when I get to play it, which I have not got to do a whole lot lately, but I'm enjoying playing it with y'all right now, so. Uh, thank you for the seven months reset once again, Tucker. And uh, happy seven months anniversary. Oh, I miss Nate saying goodbye. Nate said, I have to head off. Thank you for the tingles as always. And I hope you, uh, Nick, and everyone in the chat has a great day or night, wherever everyone is. Bye, Nate. Have a fantastic day. Have a great trip down to London with your boyfriend. Again, I hope that the surgery goes super well. Easy recovery, and I hope you get to enjoy yourselves down there. Um, is this the classic stealth archer in Dragon's Dogma? Except there's no stealthing, I don't think. Not for the archer class, anyway. Uh, Steel Necklace is for more on the subject. Check out Hugo Award author, nominated author Chuck Tingle. <laughs> If only, if only. Yo, limit 77. Why the angry face? Why the angry face? Bruce says all the AI behavior and pathfinding is processed by the GP or the CPU in this game. In a highly populated area, the GPU can't pick up any of that processing. And yeah, exactly. This game seems highly CPU bottlenecked. Uh, especially when there's a lot of characters on screen, like in a big city. Yeah, Tucker, I've been doing well. I feel like I'm having a hard time, like, I don't know, managing gameplay and chat tonight. I'm sorry y'all are waiting for so long for me to respond, but I hope you're doing great. Um, Rango says, I hit 20, 30 FPS in the cities. Oh, that is brutal. If I can like maintain like even 40, that's probably playable, but it is brutal when you consider that even on the very best hardware available, uh, you can't maintain 60 FPS in the cities in this game. I really do hope that they can fix that with an optimization pass. Nabesy says I'm playing P5 Royal and Project Zomboid, both very fun. I've never played a Persona game, but I have many people in my life that keep telling me I have to. So maybe I should try that one of these days with all that time I have. <laughs> this is the thing. There's so many games I wish I could try. But I just can never make it, make it happen. I keep telling myself when I retire. <laughs> I'm only half joking. Uh, yo, Face Beast, welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you for the $2 super chat that is super super kind of you phase b says you're awesome dragon slayer <laughs> thank you face beast i appreciate it once again and i'm glad that you're back how was work hopefully not too too painful uh andrew w says okay sounds good honestly 60 fps for this kind of game is solid i just heard people were having massive issues in the cities and crowded areas. Yeah, like we were just saying, I do think, even on this PC, I suspect I'll be dropping down to the 30s in the big cities. But I've not had, I've not been there yet, so I, I can't speak to that. Yo, what's up, Dorian Gray? Welcome. Uh, from what I've been able to play so far, I'm enjoying it a lot, but I'm still very early on. My vocation is Archer. I'm a... Uh, a shooty boy. All right, shall we rest? Or shall we cook? Let's cook some meat. Do we have any meat to cook? A rotten scrag of beast. Okay, maybe we don't want to cook that. Uh, dried meat. Why, why would we cook the dried meat? Does it make it better? Sure, let's do it. It's kind of a weird thing to cook, but. I love the, the meat cooking scenes though. They're so good. <laughs> Not like a feast to get you ready for bed. 
busy day, but it's your Friday. Nice, face piece, nice. Um, Attractive says, I've been lurking this whole time, but I got my design done, so that's good. Hey, congratulations on finishing up. And like I said, I wish you the best in that competition. Um, The beer's okay. It's just okay. It's not super remarkable, but it's totally drinkable. Limit 77, I don't understand why you're mad. <laughs> you keep making a mad face, but I do not know why. But let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Okay, uh, let's, let's rest here. Rest till morning. And let's hope we don't fall under attack. Oh crap. <laughs> oh jeez Louise, what is happening? <laughs> this is not a good way to wake up. Oh my god, I'm on fire. Oh my god, I'm on fire. <laughs> I don't know how to put myself not on fire. Can I run into the water? That's probably not good. Okay, well. I think, oh no, wait, there's more. Okay, he's dead. Wow, I did nothing there except get lit on fire and then run around in circles. Um, you know, that's unfortunate because I'm pretty sure... Uh, we're out of camping kits. That's not good at all. That is extremely bad, actually. Um... I know, right? That was a hell of a jump scare. Oh man, that stinks. Because now we don't have any camping kits left. And I don't know where the nearest inn would be. And I don't know where we can go to purchase a camping kit. Um, so I feel like just looking to see if I missed any bad guys to loot here. I wonder if we should just head back, head back the way we're supposed to go. You know, so I had a quest to go talk to a dude in, uh, in Melv. But I'm pretty sure that it was a limited time quest and I lost the opportunity to talk to him. And that's unfortunate because I'm pretty sure I was supposed to talk to him about going to the capital. And maybe I was supposed to go with them to the capital. But this game definitely has a situation where if you wait too long, some quests will just end and you don't get to do them. So, yeah, that's really awkward because my only quest now is to make my way to the capital, which is uh, Vernworth. But that's a long way away. I'm up here. Well, I'm technically we're over here. But this is kind of where you start the game up here. And then Melv is down here. Vernworth is way down here. I don't know if we're going to survive that journey. I don't know how we would survive that journey. It's a long way to travel. But it's literally my only quest right now. So yeah, I think we might have missed... Missed an important quest. And now we have to make our way there on our own. And we're in this like pretty unforgiving wilderness. I honestly don't know. Uh... What else we're supposed to do here? Neebsy says, Nick, could you rate my pie? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me, what pie have you requested? What pie have you requested? Deep dish pizza. Neebsy, I wish I could rate that pie, but I've never had deep dish pizza. But if you describe to me what deep dish pizza 
is like. Like I can imagine, but I don't know because I've never had it. Like, is it basically just like an extra thick pizza? And like, what are the layers? If it, like, what is the thickness coming from? Need these MP5 Royal as a game that takes a good few weeks or months to get through, so I recommend it when you have time to make it the only game you play. I don't know if that'll ever happen, sadly. But, uh, would it be a good, um, Steam Deck game? It's very good so far. I'm about 20 hours in and just finished the tutorial. Oh my god, that sounds like a substantial commitment. Rango says, word of advice, you want to level all the vocations for yourself and main pawn, so you can get the augments, passives, per se, for use on other vocations. Should I be prioritizing one over the other, or should I just kind of try to level them all even like Rango? Also, congrats on your streak, Attractive. Attractive says, I randomly got a watch streak, not sure if it matters, but okay. It's just a way of saying, you know, you've been around for the last few streams. Congratulations. Oh, that's awkward. That's awkward, Jenia. What even is deep dish pizza? Okay, right? Help, help me in our tract of explain deep dish pizza. I can't, <laughs> Neepsy says, I can't describe it. You must experience it. Well then, I'm afraid I have to refund your rate that pie because I, I am afraid I cannot evaluate a deep dish pizza having never experienced it myself, and uh, having never, or, you know, uh, apparently it being indescribable. So, I apologize. I apologize for that. Gosh, what do we do here, y'all? We are stuck out here in the wilderness. I just... What does this do? Oh, this will take me into, like, the pawn land. Right, where we can browse, browse pawns. Look at them all. These are other people's main pawns. This guy's scary looking. His name is Bo. Uh, and we could hire them if we wanted, but that would mean getting rid of some of our pawns. Big Steve over here. with some interesting looking pawns. But we'll stick with our crew for now. Uh, let's leave the rest. Ah, uh, yo, ASMR medic, what is up? Welcome to the stream. Sorry, I only just saw you there. Phase Beast says take an Uber to Vernworth. It's just that easy. ASMR medic, I'm doing well. Busy but well. How about you? What's new? I hope you like it. I found it myself. Couch God asks, do you have a hair routine? Your hair looks so good. Thank you. You know, Couch God, I have to say, um, the biggest breakthrough in hair care for me was, and this is going to sound maybe a bit strange, but like shampooing less and conditioning more. So I try to only shampoo twice a week these, these days. Um, but I condition every day, and when I condition, I really give it time. I, like I try to give it at least a good couple minutes in the shower with that conditioner in there, um, not just like stick it in and then rinse it right out. Um, and uh, that really made a difference for me. Um, and then uh, just being really kind to it in terms of drying it. I don't use heat on it, so I don't use a hair dryer or anything I just towel dry I just pat it dry or like squeeze it dry with the towel um, but try not to be too violent with it you know <laughs> tarot destroyer I don't know what to tell you I don't 
don't know what, don't know what to tell you. Phase Beast. What is deep dish coffee? What? I don't think that's a thing. Neebsy says P5 will be very Steam Deck, a very good Steam Deck game. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Would it be something good to play before bed, just with my deck? Because I really like to play with my deck before bed. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, a routine I've I've picked up. All right, gang. Okay. We are out in the wilderness. We're a long way, as far as I can tell, from the nearest inn or place to rest. We don't have any camping equipment anymore because those stupid goblins just destroyed it. And it's the middle of the night. Do we push forward into the unknown in the hopes that we will find an inn or campsite with a camping kit? Or do we go back through the scary cave and try and return to somewhere that we know is safe? The scary cave is full of scary things, though, so it's not a guaranteed, like, happy ending, either. <laughs> okay, hold on, we've got some deep dish pizza explanations here. Draconis says, deep dish pizza, to my understanding, is thick crust sauce thick layer of cheese and other toppings. I mean, that sounds fantastic. I'm not sure what is bad about that or why you wouldn't like it. Nimsy says, yes, it's very thick. Like, thick enough where one slice is like a slice of cake or pie. So you only eat one slice, I have to imagine. It's not like you're eating multiple slices of this stuff. Bruce says, imagine a two-inch crust on a pizza, crispy on the bottom and softer as you move up. On top of that, the usual suspects, but usually a lot of extra cheese. That sounds freaking amazing. My mouth is watering just thinking about it. My completely off-the-cuff rating of a deep dish pizza is like a 9 out of 10. I'm imagining a 9 out of 10, okay? And because it's so thick, it retains the heat well and the cheese inside stays melted and gooey. What's not to like about it? I've heard some people like slagging on deep dish pizza, but that just sounds spectacular. And God says that's so funny because my big hair breakthrough was double shampooing. <laughs> Everyone's hair is different. It's true. It's really true. Yeah, for me, I find that the like less shampooing works well because it makes sure that it stays. Um, you know, it's like it doesn't dry it out, right? But yeah, I could totally see how if you have hair that's prone to getting greasy really quickly, that, you know, uh, shampooing more would actually be the, the secret, be the trick. I'm sorry, you rail. Uh, what are you suggesting? Oh, it looks like morning is coming. Okay. Well, maybe then we can push forward. Maybe it's safe to do so. We at least did get the rest benefits from our sleep, I think. So that's good. Deep dish pizza is like a pie without a top, but it has like the normal pizza things in it, right? Take your pawns to McDonald's for a Big Mac combo deal. They deserve it. They deserve it. Treat them like the kings they are. Kings and queen. They are very talkative though, I will say that much. Sometimes I wish they'd shut up a bit. Oh, it's starting to rain. Just up here looking for herbs, don't mind me. with all the midnight food talk, Jenya? Come on, you know. You know. Sometimes you just get hungry and want to talk about food. 
midnight or otherwise. Our attractive says, haven't had dinner, so this is making me real hungry. I did have dinner, and it's still making me real hungry, so. <laughs> There's that random flip for no reason. Ink Gem says deep dish gotta have that cornmeal crust. What? What? Oh, I thought cornbread for a second. I am attentive and loyal, Whoa. and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. This pawn is named Goon. <laughs> a kind-hearted pawn named Goon. The thing is, though, if we were to hire on this new pawn, we'd have to get rid of one of our pawns. I kind of like my pawns, but the thing with the pawns I have is they're kind of low level now, so I feel like we should, we should replace them. But probably not with this lady, because she is an archer. And so am I. And if I was going to replace a pawn, I would want to replace my healer, Roan. Because he's my lowest level pawn, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, probably not going to take this lady. I'll gather this. It might be of use. Um... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't have trouble with a lot of cheese. I love me some cheese. I'm sorry though. I'm sorry about your struggles. I mean, the constant butt is not. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is happening? Oh my god, run away. Run away. Stay with me, Arisen. Oh my god. Okay, alright. I feel kind of bad fighting these. <laughs> nice. Just a little, a little high five with Marie there. I am, in fact, well fond of picking things up. Thank you for noticing. Where are the other corpses? Uh, Namesy says P5's gameplay loop is segmented into days. So I imagine one in-game day usually takes between 5 to 15 minutes. So it's easy to end the gameplay session at the end of a day or week. Uh, but is it super addictive and it makes you want to play the next day and then the next day? Just one more day. Kind of like a Civ game or something. Just one more turn. Also, now I'm weighted down with everything I'm carrying. Oh, just a big hunk of meat. Uh, okay. Gosh, I'm carrying just a lot of crap here. All weighing me down. That might help. I do find the inventory management to be a little bit on the tedious side in this game, I have to admit. But I could probably discard this rotten horse bud, huh? Let's just get rid of it. <laughs> I don't think I need it. Why is a single blueberry 0.15 kilograms? It's a 150 gram blueberry. That's an extremely big blueberry. Uh, attractive says, random question. Oh wait, I just picked up the rotten heart spot I threw down. Oh, that's a rotten scrag of beast. I want rotten meat. Gosh, I'm an idiot. Attractive says random question, but I'm thinking about food and Skyrim's cookbook popped up. Has anyone ever tried to cook anything from it? No, I should really see if, like, I don't know, I've always kind of wanted to get it. I don't have it though. 
I think it would be fun to check out though. Anybody else here ever use the Skyrim cookbook? Okay, one of my pawns was saying something about a ladder. I see no ladder. Oh, a ladder. Also, what the heck just happened to my frame rate? Y'all seeing this? Suddenly it just tanked. Oh, and it's back, back to normal. That was weird. Wonder if it'll do it again if I come on up here. It totally does. Every time I come up here. How are we to proceed? Okay. How are we to proceed? Do you think I could pick up one of my pawns and yeet them over there? Marie, are you okay? <laughs> nope, she was not okay. I know, cheese and bread, just the necessities of life. Neebs, he says, I use medicated shampoo for my scalp to prevent seborrheic dermatitis. I do not know what that is, but I'm glad that you have something to manage it. Phase B says, if Goon was in my squad, I'd try not to simp over you. You would definitely be the kind of DD2 player who has just rolls with an all all a squad of ladies like just a bunch of ladies <laughs> am I right face beast um yeah fair enough Nipsey some days you get ramen with the boys slash girls and hit the batting cages so some days are pretty just pretty socializing kind of days Nick Skyrim cooking video when I would have to figure out a way to actually film in my kitchen for that but oh yeah sweet rolls mm, that's a good point that's a good point <laughs> come on Drake I didn't see it earlier but it's there now I see it now okay let's see if I can pick up Marie she looks like the wait how do I pick up a pawn there we go <laughs> Well, Marie, we're going to attempt to eat you over here to see. <laughs> now, yeah, there we go. Thank you. I was wondering if that was going to work. That was perfect. That was so good. All right. Now what's up here? <laughs> Cavern of the Forsaken. Oh, that sounds totally fine. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong in the Cavern of the Forsaken? Wait. We can't even get in. Wait, there's someone in there. I see dialogue, but we can't get it open. Are these explosive barrels? I don't think so. Only one way to find out, I guess. Nope. These are not explosive barrels. <laughs> Just kick them. Stop them. Huh. Well, that's a little disappointing. There's no way into the cavern. Well, we'll have to look around. Maybe we can find some explosives somewhere nearby. stop laughing honestly I do love the way you can just yeet stuff around in this game you can also yeet goblins into other goblins that's very good okay we should probably keep moving because uh, we maybe want to try and find a campsite before before dark falls Okay, so we fought some the wrist, I uncovered a treasure chest hidden in this very locale. Shall we seek it out? 
Okay, yeah, show me Marie. Go. She's gonna lead us to a treasure chest. Uh, she knows the location of said treasure chest. Based on oh wow, that looks fancy. Based on an astounding discovery. A soft neck wrap. I don't think I have any headgear. Does that give me even a little bit more armor? Because that'd be nice. Let's see. Shields, head armor. Nope. Apparently it's not something I can wear. Maybe, uh, maybe Marie can. Let's see. Who can? No one. <laughs> okay. I legitimately don't know what the point of it is then. She picked it up, didn't she? There. Soft neck wrap. Huh. Does it say who it's usable by? Prized by travelers in the land to the north. It gives some elemental resistance and debilitation resistance. If you change this pawn's equipment, the previously equipped items will return to the pawn's master. No. And the newly equipped items will be gifted to the pawn's master when the pawn is dismissed? No. Okay, well, let's give this to me then. <laughs> Can I wear it? Uh, I can. Okay, cool. Oh, check it out. Badass. Neebsy says, I love food ASMR videos, but not necessarily the sound of eating, cooking, making, describing are bigger triggers for me. Yeah, I've, I've enjoyed some cooking ASMR before for sure. I'm uh, not going to pretend like I'm an amazing cook or anything, or even an amazing baker. But uh, I like cooking and baking when I have the time to slow down and enjoy it. I don't like the daily, uh, you know, necessity of, ooh, another big chest back here. The ring of indifference. Uh, the daily necessity of, like, cooking to survive. Because <laughs> I'm usually trying to do it quickly, because I usually have other things that need to get done. But uh, when I can slow down, Oh, just random 1500 gold. Nice. Um, and enjoy cooking. I do enjoy it. How tautological of me. When I enjoy cooking, I enjoy cooking. Uh, okay, what was that ring? Ring of indifference. Right now I have the ring of exaltation, which slightly boosts max health. Ring of indifference, a ring that grants power to the wearer whose spirit resonates with its magic. Reduces damage taken from strike attacks. Okay. Let's equip it. We're just equipping all the good stuff on ourselves because we are... Oh, wait. Is this a camping site? It is. Rest here a moment? I would love to rest here a moment, but... Is that you say? Tragically, we still have no camping supplies. Also, this does not actually look like a great spot to camp. It looks very wet and muddy. Uh, Elias, or Elias, not sure which. Uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Drake, what are you sharing? What are these clams? <laughs> oh, you just shared one. I don't know. I don't know if I want to know. Uh... But I do want to know. I do want to know. Yeah, Neebsy, I get you. Sometimes I feel that way too. Yo, who's this? It's another pawn? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> See ya, bud. Okay. Alright. There's probably more 
more stuff to explore back there, but a what? Are we gonna be blocked by this? Uh oh. What was that sound? Did you guys hear that? That was a scary sound. Look here. Water is seeping through the cracks. Yeah. Water seeping through the cracks. There's something real scary around here. I can hear it grumbling away. We are not equipped to fight something scary. Oh. Freaking what? Freaking what? <laughs> no, this is not good at all. Oh, I shot him in the eye. He didn't like that. Oh, he's frozen. I'm just gonna keep shooting him in the eye because that seems to be a good way to. Is he just perma frozen? What is going on? No, okay, there we go. Whoa. Grabbing a larger foes in battle. You can grab hold of a foe while standing by making contact with them while pressing right trigger. Once you have hold of an enemy, you can push or pull them to draw their focus or knock them off balance. I don't think I want to get closer to this guy. I think we just want to deal with him from here. A what? Oh, he has a whole other health bar. Can I crawl this guy? Crawl, jump up on him. No, apparently not. Oh, he's frozen again. This guy's getting bullied. I almost feel bad. Can I shoot him in the eye again? Oh boy, that looks painful. Okay, okay, I don't feel bad anymore. I don't feel bad anymore. I don't feel bad anymore. Oh lordy. Oh lordy. Oh no. Oh no. Ah. 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 Run. Nice. Stunned by hitting him in the eye. I think. Oh no, maybe not. That's a lie. He's getting real mad. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. fire but nice got him whoa okay all right that was intense damn that's cool as heck we got a rugged bone from him Drake, don't you dare. Drake, don't you dare. Oh, we got several rocket bones. How exciting. My heart was fit to burst. That was crazy. I will not peek under the loincloth. I will not peek under the loincloth. Oh, Drake is gone. I'm a little bit sad. All right, good night, Drake. Good night. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Drake. I'm sorry. I missed. I missed them leaving. But good night. Good night, Drake. <laughs> okay. I think he bamboozled me by pretending to leave, just waiting for the right moment to strike. Amazing. 
Drake, you have yourself a good one. And once again, y'all, please go check out our friend Drake, Drake Connors, ASM artist. Let me just get a shout out going here. Shout out Drake Connors, ASM artist. It totally was a trap, but you know what? All the same, go follow that man. He is hilarious. He is amazing. He is super kind and super chill. Definitely go give him a follow. Thank you, Enko. Yes, relaxing Cyclops murder. Wholesome stream, relaxing Cyclops murder. I did not plan for the Cyclops murder, but... We got a misshapen eye. What do you think that does? The eye of a Cyclops can be used to enhance equipment. Okay. That tells me nothing. Or very little. That was pretty intense, though. And extremely unexpected. But also really cool. Oh, is this a campsite? Please be a campsite. No. I can't wait to find out what's inside. Oh, but there are some chests. Oh, there is some camping gear. A modest camping kit. Yes. Excellent. And what's all this? What's all this? See that harpy fly down and come out of nowhere? They're singing us to sleep again. Not of that. Sleep, magic. Nice. No harm shall come to you. Oh, Maria and Indigo both got kind of slept. That was rude. That was rude. Oh, we are super overburdened right now. <laughs> you can sleep sadly now. Yeah, I bet you can, Drake. Good night. And you rail. Thanks for chilling with us. Always a pleasure to have you here. We will catch you next time. Good night, Rail. You sent a clip in the Discord? Okay, off to check it out after. Do you think its eyes misshapen because of all the arrows you shot into it? <laughs> what else are you supposed to do with the Cyclops? You always shoot the Cyclops in the eye. It's just the rule of Cyclops. The rift stone of robustness. Look at all these. Look at the Duke. Duke looks like he's ready to kick some butt. We've also got glit over here. Perhaps a G-lit. Uh, Seagal. Oh my god, it's Steven Seagal, you guys. It's old Steven Seagal. Kane. Bear. Vashur. Club. Borai. Core. Otto. Otto looks magnificent. Mitsubibi. Of a terrifying crown. Bob and Dennis. Oh my god, Dennis. Oh my god, Dennis. Wow, Dennis is a champion. Always funny to see other people's pawns. No, Phase Beast, you can have giant Cyclops, nice, calm, relaxing dreams because we defeated the Cyclops. Um, let's take this and give it to Inigo. Inigo's strong. Inigo can wear, or can take the camping kit and still uh, let me average white. Okay, we've made some progress. Cabin of the Forsaken. I still don't know if we're ever gonna get to civilization again. But you know, at least we at least we Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Made some you know, what's all this fish. Clearly the only correct choice is Dennis. 
Dennis this is pretty incredible. I just feel bad leaving my pawns. I kind of like the pawns I have, but they just don't level up with you. Um, my stomach is growling. It's telling me time to stop streaming. Um, It is about that time. I hate to say it, friends. I hate to say it, but I think I'd better wrap it up. Because I do have work tomorrow. Ooh, this is quite spectacular, this view here. It's a massive canyon. Wow. Big drop. Let's not fall. I just kind of want to keep playing though. This game's rad. But alas, I must pull myself away. Do the responsible thing, you know. Hmm. Well, next time I stream this. Yeah, thanks, Ron. That's cool. <laughs> it is a beautiful game. I love being out in the wilds here. It's quite lovely. You know, there's a random dead harpy down there. Who knows why? She keeps saying that, and then she doesn't give me anything. she says that, so I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but yes, this is probably as good a place as any to wrap it up for tonight. So, my dear friends, thanks for being oh, here. <laughs> thanks for... I gotta just do that so that they shut up. The pawns won't stop talking. Um... Thanks for coming on out. Thank you for all of your patience and kind understanding over the last, I don't know, while. I just feel like I haven't been on top of my game. I feel like, uh, you know, I have been having to miss the Thursday streams. I feel like Sunday streams have been starting late. Um, but uh, I'm doing you know, the best I can, and I know that you know that, so thank you for, you know, putting up with it, and um, I look forward to the time when I can get back to streaming twice a week, as I usually do, and, uh, you know, really uh, put more of myself into the channel the way I really want to. I know there's lots of stuff y'all have been waiting on, too, like, I owe at least three or four of you some new, like, a, an emote was requested, couple of channel points, redemptions, all that kind of stuff, so, uh, I haven't forgot about it, it's all, it's all up here, um, and, uh, you know, at some point, things will, uh, be a little less crazy in my life, and, uh, I can get back to, you know, some sense of what y'all are used to around the channel here, but in the meantime, life continues to be busy and exciting and uh i just am really grateful that i get to come and spend this time with all of you you know at least once a week uh to hang out and that you all still come out to to chill with me it means a lot so thank you thank you thank you um if y'all want some more asmr nerd i do of course have the youtube video up uh, it is a keyboard video tonight, which I haven't done for quite a while, so those of you who enjoy them, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> this is the keyboard I build. It is super cute. It is super cozy. It's got some really fun keycaps with all kinds of, like, well, adorable things. Cats and birds and yarn and stuff. Baked goods. 
uh, and it's this beautiful, beautiful purple aesthetic. Uh, it was a really fun board to put together, and it sounds delightful. So if you want a nice long typing test with this thing, and to see it uh, come together, check that out on the YouTube channel tonight. It is there for you. Otherwise, uh, let's go find somebody go raid. You know how we do around here. Um, lots of amazing ASMR streamers. I'm just trying to plug this thing in again. Uh, on Twitch. And uh, we love to support them. We love to stand our ASMR streamer kings and queens. So let's see who's all streaming right now and who we can go and raid someone we haven't visited for a while um <laughs> thanks jenny i appreciate it yeah we'll get back to it we will and thank you enco and attractive as well y'all are too kind i am incredibly lucky to have such amazing amazing and supportive uh people and friends in this community um streaming quite a few people actually um have we rated recently or not recently we rated Falkor last week i think or the week before no i think we rated her the week before and queen toasty maybe last week uh but you know who's streaming we haven't gone to visit for a little while is amy pie and amy pie is super chill super nice super tingly y'all will love her so let's go right Amy Pie. It's been a little bit. And it's nice to see her on. Uh, if she's taking raids, we'll see. Let's see, let's see. Looks like it. All right, friends, pile on in. If you are over on the YouTube side of things, I'm afraid you can't join us on this raid. You're going to have to come to the Twitch chat, but I encourage you to do so because uh yeah we're gonna go visit another awesome asmr streamer y'all will uh, i'm sure have a great time over at amy pie stream and if she's in your recommended she's great she's super nice fattest llama one of these keycaps uh if you check out my video on the youtube channel you can see them in detail and i talk about them there's also a link in the video description there but i think they're called a midsummer night's dream and I got these ones from banggood.com. You might be able to find them elsewhere. They're 20 bucks on Banggood right now, though. Die sub, PBT, nice and thick, XDA profile for 20 bucks. A fantastic buy if you like the aesthetic, in my opinion. Anyway, all right, friends. Thank you for being here. Phase Beast, thank you for the kind words. I really appreciate it. Love having you all on out here. Good night, Jenny. It was fantastic seeing you. It was wonderful having you all here tonight. Hopefully, I can make Thursday work this week. But if not, I will see you next Sunday. 